Alright, welcome to another uh, episode of Worlds Collide, Final Fantasy VI Randomizer. Here we've got a pod race for our Battle Royale tournament going on. This is the Ultros pod, round two. We've got Edgeworth, Fantasodon, Holgart, the Schwantz, and then Mark is also racing, but unfortunately we only have four for the restream. I am Hashmalum, and with me is Saberwolf. Hey everybody, how you doing today? So this is, uh, if you're not familiar with the flag set, it's a pretty basic flag set, 6-9 requirement. If you get three too many characters or espers, then you can get a skip and pass all the switches, go straight to Kefka. Um, if you're even less familiar with uh, Worlds Collide and what it is, it's a randomizer for Final Fantasy VI where it's still mostly vanilla. I mean, when you grab an item, it's the item you expect it to be. Bosses are more or less what you expect them to be, but we do change their levels and different scaling to balance out the game, you could say, I guess. But we will see our racers try to imbalance that in their favor as much as possible. Maybe taking some early dragon fights to get ahead of scaling, get ahead of levels. But uh, yeah, it should be a great time, should be a fun race. All fantastic racers here on the, sh on the screen, so... Uh, yeah, we should be in for a good race. Yep, so this is the, like uh, like Ash had mentioned, it was the uh, Battle Royale. This is kind of the celebration of the full version 1.1 of the game, and it's kind of in the objectives that we can see. Uh, there are special little modifiers that can be added into the game throughout. It's not just getting characters as for dragons kind of thing. It adds a little quirks and little twists uh, that should go along the way. Uh, the big thing to note, uh, from the uh, from I guess point nine to one point oh with objectives, is that if you played a uh, Worlds Collide in the past and just coming back to it now, uh, the eight sword techs are now an objective. You don't get it automatically if you're doing the dream, but for intensive purposes for this uh, battle royale, uh, that objective that is the objective is to finish the dream. So just to kind of smooth our way into it, and we are off and running like a thundering herd of turtles. And we have Gogo, Saban, and Edgar to start us off with Edgar Ooh, with throw and natural and jump. jump. So pretty decent. Yeah, I love seeing Saban or Gao, any of those characters with a high figure with a natural jump. You find a dragon horn, and that's your end game strat right there. Saban, if as long as he can equip anything, this uh, in this seed, the uh, equipment is random plus uh, I think a low percentage. So uh, if you find an Aura Lance for your for your Dragonhorn Jumper, he may not be able to equip it, so we'll we'll see how useful that is. That is true, and one of the objectives is to, in order to get the Dragoon set, that's like the Dragon owns the dragon horn and the Lance for him, um, that is, you do have to do the Clock at Zozo. Now, the Clock at Zozo is not the uh, 62050, or 65020, I always forget which it is. 61050, yeah. 61050, I was close. Um, it is not that set up, actually. It is, in fact, um, randomized. So you actually have to talk to the liars in Zozo to figure out what that time is. So it does take a little bit of time to uh, try to get the uh, boots of this. So, or the, Did you uh, see the, that. the Fi Edgeworth noped out of? I missed that. I just thought he took a quick yeah, reset so when quick he said once the box. Um, but Genji <laughs> Whoever it was, he was not ready dart. for it. I am loving the, the start to this. This is... I mean, it's pretty normal to see people go up to Narsh and loot that, and then South Figaro, but we have very different starts here. Uh, Schwantz starting out as Zone Eater. Uh, there's yeah, no boss that's... there and quite a few chests, so... Oh, it was Presenter, chat says. Okay. Yeah, if you yeah. unless you've got, like, Break or something to, get, to kill it quickly. Oh, Schwantz, though, I don't know how much he's loving this decision he has. <laughs> he's waiting for that Leprechaun for quite some time. Yeah, the Swans have noticed that in a couple of uh, race seeds and practices he's been doing when he's got Gogo on the team. He's going straight to uh, Zone Eater, and it's a free check with some chess, uh, for the most part, unless, as long as you don't get oh. hit by the Leprechaun. He wanted um, those two chests. But you know, you get to get those two chests anyways. You usually try to get them on the way out the door if you don't have Warp Stones, but we do start with Warp Stones, so there we go. And unfortunately, both those items not that great. Be good for selling in a, in a, no, yeah. a tinted bar there. I have been kicked off there before and found two Atma weapons, so I mean, it's, all, it's always tempting to go check it, but it's, it always feels better to go across the bridge in one try. So, we'll, we'll root for Schwantz to get across this time. 
I mean, Hogarth Ooh, going straight to World of Ruin here for losing Self Figaro. Uh, with Edgar on the team, actually that happened to me in my last seed that I ran right before this one. I did the same thing. I went to World of Ruin, Self Figaro almost immediately. Ooh, and finding a snow muffler. Now if he has to be at the Edgar top of the team front... right to work, right? He has to be at the top of the team, right? To get yeah, the discount. He does. So right now he has no discount. So hopefully Hogart remembers that. And so if he finds something he wants and he needs to put Edgar in the lead. Yeah. Uh, to buy those cheap I I like I like it especially for the items. You're gonna be buying consumables at the beginning of the seed. So to get those at half price. Ooh, oh, and it was a fixed dice fixed and a dice. snow muffler? Yeah. Well, it, oh no, actually, that's World of Balance. No, okay. World of Balance is a fix that's a fixed dice. With the natural jumper, let's hope uh Yeah, you can equip that. Saban can equip that, as that is uh fixed dice's best lance, so and also World of Balance, Narsh in the store, also uh, the relic store had uh, earrings. And another set of dragon boots, so natural uh, dragon boot jumper uh, lance user for Edgar. Uh, items are uh, original with a 30% chance of being able to use something else. So Saban has that 30% chance to use those fixed dice or a lance. Yeah, which isn't a fantastic odds, but ho it's, well, hopefully it works out for him. So. Yeah, and that's a Finding zone a seek for the zone forest. eater. So yeah. zone seek, not one you particularly look for, but we'll see what spells it has on it, or yep. even abilities. So stunner's a decent sword, can also stop a spicy chicken. So it's a good find. Yeah, zone seek and the zone eater. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, and Holgar taking the long way around just to find a metal knuckle. That's always disappointing. Yeah. You're hoping to be the one to find the Illumina to give you the edge by going to such a far away check. Oh, but finding an Atlas armlet. I didn't find any of those in my last seed. It was rather disappointing. And Edgeworth searching out South Figaro. Really common start. South Figaro basement is full of chests. Uh, other than maybe the Imperial base, I think it's the highest chest density in the game, so lots of good items to be at yeah, there usually. Yeah, earrings, an X-Potion, that's not bad. We've already seen a Titanium and Imp Armor, so I wonder if anyone will go for the Imp Strats. Sabin is a natural jumper. If he can't equip anything good, just hook him up with all the Imp stuff, find him a Dragon Horn, and you've got a top tier... Uh, character right there you, for sure what, you want you want an imp in this in this seat is that what you're saying oh absolutely the imp strats <laughs> imp strats are op yeah they are i've yet to see and, an imp and imp anyone can equip it point. so so the first 15 minutes uh can be a little uh scattered and uh a little dry just running around trying to loot uh usually it takes about 10 to 15 minutes the, the uh rudder is just trying to get some gear because when you start these, normally when you start these seeds, you're either naked or you have the original gear from like the beginning of the vanilla game, which is the bare, bare bones like dirt, leather armor, stuff like that. So the most important thing to do is try to get some sort of weaponry or armor so you can survive the uh, first couple of fights you got to do. Especially if you try to get some free checks like, uh, like the Schwans did that raises the levels of your opponents. And Edgeworth is doing the free check for Edgar to see who's sitting on the throne. Also, checking out the two item shops to see if you get a little discount there because Edgar's on the team. Exactly. Yeah, very good move here. Normally, I like to chain all three of Edgar's checks, go through the cave, and then go do this one. But, I mean, grabbing that quick Esper, I mean, it could have, while they're still level three, it could have a level up bonuses that could make a huge difference. So, it's a, it's a risk, but could pay off pretty greatly by going and doing this. Okay, so Johnny Q. Sabimp. Yes, that's what I want to see, Johnny. I'm hoping for a Sabimp. <laughs> uh, Hellguards, this is the first one going into the Returner's Cave. Uh, that's only available in the uh, in the uh, World of Balance. Those have, that's also a good chest uh, looting area, but not really fine. Okay, Thunder... Ooh, th just as about yeah. to say that, Thunder Rod. Wing Edge and Thunder Rod, both very good items. Yep. Uh, Wing Edge is kind of a stat stick, but you can use it in the back row for good damage, so... I like Seto Kiaba in the chat. The Schwantz just not even caring. He has no care in the world, just flying around without saving. Who cares about Doomgaze? You know yep. Doomgaze is going to get me. I ran into, just... just barely ran into a Doomgaze by mistake who mm. killed three of my four characters with an opening shrapnel, so. It was, uh, it was Guardian, so, yeah. I usually am a little bit more careful, save maybe too often. As I'm afraid of, of the random Doomgaze. 
So Swans is doing a little bit of shopping as the house is collapsing on the poor merchant right now. I uh, did find some more um, earrings in that relic shop, so... Yeah, earrings are 6,000 oh, sorry, it's gold, not... Oh, it's not. It's a, a Gal. Gal's holding up the house. Oh, nice. Gao is such an interesting character in Worlds Collide because he gets two abilities that can really be anything. So, I mean, you might get him and he has Capture and Sketch. Not in this one. A oh. lot of those commands aren't in it. But he could also start with... Uh, Magitek's not in this one, but he could start with Shock and Sword Tech. Or I often find him really late, too late to put him on my team, and he's hoarding two of the best abilities. So, Yeah, I got lucky. I had Shock and Blitz on him last time I played, um, so I got really lucky with him. Yeah, that's lucky, unless your other two people have Sketch and Control, and you're like, come on, we need to split, uh, divvy up these good abilities instead of Ooh. hoarding them all to yourself. Master, Master Pug, Pug that not is a not great what you fight when you're level he's three. To, yeah, he's got to go out the hard way. Yeah, no, no smoke experience. Bombs. He does have a warp stone, but he doesn't have enough to be thrown around. No, he doesn't. Yeah, Seto's saying he wouldn't go for the monster in the box with Gao here. Um, it depends on how well. I usually only do monster in the box if I need extra gold, because a lot of the monster boxes give extra gold usually don't do it for experience but i like finding it for the katana soul but that's super risky as set of mentions because they're gonna get gal and getting Gao this early is really good because his check if you do his check first the only thing you'll encounter in the belt is a lobo so it makes his check really really good but if you encounter some inox or something terrible then the Gao check becomes rather garbage even I would say. So it was a risky play for sure. Now we might run into those into those master uh, bugs instead of just a Lobo while he does those checks. So Runic and Lore for the abilities for Gal there. Yeah, see, not the best abilities. I mean, he's a high vigor character, not really a high magic power character. Depending on the lores and what else he gets, uh... Not fantastic. 37 magic power is not bad. I mean, natural terror is like 39. It's up there. So, that's bad. I mean, especially yeah. if you get a magicite that can do magic power, you're to plus one. It'd be nice yeah, too. for sure. Or get him a couple earrings and an enhancer or something, and he'll be doing pretty good damage with that. It just depends on the ability. If he's got Grand Train and an Economizer, he could be doing some good damage. I didn't okay. see what the As Dazzle says, there. he has 37 magic. That's good. Yeah, that's like Celeste level magic power, so pretty good. Uh, Edgeworth's getting his zone seek in the zone eater right now. Um, Holgarth went back to uh, World of Balance and Narsh. We check out that area for some um, items. Swans is now doing the World of Ruin uh, self hero. I think it's World of Ruin. Yep, that's World yep, of Ruin. Yep, the snow was there Hulgarth. in the World of Ruin. I did Great item to find. Was Hopefully, people can equip screen, it. Though. Okay, so Fantastodon's getting ready to do his uh, Zone Eater. Yeah, it looks like everyone's check. going for the Zone Eater. It's a popular check this time. Well, it's kind it's of a interesting. free check. It's loot. one I... Yeah, mm -hmm. I typically avoid it as best I can, though. <laughs> I don't have great Leprechaun luck, so... Not well, saying I... it's the wrong call. Ooh, and Edgeworth going around and getting that good jump. That was fantastic. I don't think he fell once, so... Still what level next... 3. I guess the next thing to do would be would be probably do Saban's camp check to try to get some levels, especially after all these uh, free checks. So oh, oh, everybody's now plus two right I now. Hope oh, did he get squished? We're saved because he got squished. <laughs> <clears throat> if you get that chest and try to get to the second one, you have to have a pretty flawless route to it. So, uh, it's, it's it's also but buggy he did too. save. Which is good. So I always too, save I've been there, in front of the chest and squashed me still, so I have too. I've gotten the chest and still been squashed. So you gotta it's gotta be a nearly flawless route to it, so <laughs> He also didn't like the first chest because he didn't go back for it, so And Vitasodon, he's making sure he saves because he knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So did Edgeworth, so I'm glad I Playing nice and safe here, so. 
Oh, and he also gets squished, just misses the treasure yeah. chest. Oh, uh, twice. Twice in the same run. Uh, it's pretty rare, I think, to actually see someone get squished there, so... Everybody I can't can remember the last stream I actually saw. We got pancakes tonight. We got pancakes for <laughs> sure. Yeah. Ogar checking out the Masa, hoping to find some good loot here. The Masa and Albrook are two... I mean, everybody talks about South Figaro for all of the shops. Uh, if you do South... For uh, Thamasa, ooh, and Benji Gloves and Hero Rings. Uh, Albrook and Thamasa have, I think, five or so chests each, so they're also really good looting spots if you need just that extra little bit of loot before before you keep go before you can uh, go after some bosses after the checks. Tempest is a good weapon in the uh, vanilla part of the game, not so much in the uh, randomizer though. So it is, it's not fast. <laughs> But getting that, um, putting it on a character with an offering with being able to get Wind Slash, which is a very strong ability in vanilla early on in the game, is uh, pretty good. So we got HP plus 10, didn't see what the spells were on uh, uh, Zone Seek and Carbuncle. It was so quick, I didn't even see it. <laughs> yeah, Fantastodon only putting three of his characters on. Must be going, to, gonna go do the Gao checks. Also looting on the way, going to the. Masa. See if anyone also roots in. Oh, and Sabin can equip the fixed dice. So, Ooh. Bogart putting the fixed dice on Sabin. Hopefully he so, can find uh, Dragon So horn. he either has to find a Dragon Horn, or like you were saying, he can just go reset that clock. He'll get a backup spear in case he doesn't want to use fixed dice. And well, the, well, the, the Dragon Horn can be used by Edgar as a stat bonus. I mean, you know. So, That's I mean, true. It depends on what it is. Do you know what the three spears are? Because it's either an R lance, a pearl lance, or the third one, which I don't ever remember. I think it's a partisan, is it? Um, I think it was just the R lance and the uh, pearl. I don't think it was the other one. Um, yeah, I think it could be one of the three top three lances. I could be wrong though. That's what I've heard. I just forget which one the third is. Ogo, a very good character to find when you already have the stat for throw, or already have the command to throw. A throw, in my opinion, is the best uh, command in the game. It's great early, it's great late, it does tons of damage, very versatile. Do physical damage or magic damage, depending on how you build it, so hopefully he gets a hero ring or something else to increase that damage. Um, so... <laughs> Well, Swans, I think, is in the doing the Gao check, but he has four characters on his party. Oh, Grand Train. We have Grand Train as one of the lore abilities. Okay, see? Yeah, that could be... That's a really powerful non-elemental damaging spell, so... Fire 2 on Ramu. Ramu Ram, Rama? I don't know how you say that. Let's see, we got Schwanz figuring out his menu. Everybody's, like you were saying earlier, everybody's figuring out what their offense is. Looks like everybody's about ready to go do some checks. Uh, in a seed with scaling, I think this one's 2 or 2.5. It's nice to get a bunch of these early progression checks out of the way to bring up the levels of the the bosses. Well, not it is necessarily two. the levels. This is round this... 2, so it's 2. Okay. 2.5 is, this... is, is the is third one. That one's three. Okay. Yeah. To up to up their experience so that when you fight bosses you just uh, cruise through the seat even faster so yeah and Edgeworth putting on the double earrings for the grand train on uh, Gal so. how early do you think people will take a dragon in the seat well I was they shocked the other day from a uh, green monkey doing a dragon at level 3 um, and actually I've... one shotting it so I was shocked by that yeah, I've so, done that with this flag set because they're scaled. I mean, they're not hard, so... Yes, they are scaled, but after you do one dragon, it does go up by plus 10 levels. So you're going to have to wait a while to do a second dragon. And after doing the second dragon, it goes up by another 10 levels after that. So after doing two dragons, the, the levels are going to go up by plus 20. So. Yeah, but after the first dragon, you get more than 10 levels, I think. So if you've done enough Magicite and other things, so... Now, there's a couple traps also... Yeah, there's a couple traps also with the uh, objectives. If you win an item, doesn't even have to be the Esper item. If you win one item from the auction house, the final Kefka levels go up by 10. And if you go and do the uh, Thief at Teason, uh, if you get the item from them, 
the, ten, the final Kefka levels go up by 10 as well. So there is a trap there, so you kind of want to avoid uh, doing that. As Gao, as uh, Gogo takes a sleep under the water on Schwanz's screen, unfortunately. <laughs> he just needed does him the, to uh, counter anybody oh, else, but yeah, he, he pops down that Gogo, as, as enemies like to do. It was a real fortunate targeting by that sprinter as the rest of his characters had plenty of hit points so stray cat the strongest uh <laughs> rage ability i guess you could say if you have the offering it is a fantastic rage i was helping a new player uh play the, uh with some strategy advice on earlier today in the stream and he had stray cat I'm like oh put a genji glove and your r lamps on him and he he was suddenly doing stray cat for uh, double 8,000 hits, so he was very surprised by that damage there. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of rages that are pretty good. Uh, Marshall's a good one for vanilla. Um, Stray Cat's good for a general. Um, what's another good one? Um, Ghost is sometimes Viridian, a good one. Viridian, uh, Brontar does Brontar. fire three. Which is the one that does shock? Is that mover oh, or something? Uh, well, that's, yeah, it's, it's, in, it's in Kefka's tower, but for the randomizer, you can find it earlier. Yep, and exactly. you just gain the ability of Rage straight up because you don't have to do the leap in the Veldel, you just gain the ability of seeing the monster. Kind of like Lore. Uh, by seeing Hefe the mentions so. EO, does Flare Star, that's a fantastic yep. one to find. And Retainer. Oh, Retainer, retainer is shark. shark, that's right. Yeah. I always forget which one that is. I should know, but... Yeah, Retainer is the Samurai from uh, Kefka's Tower. Uh, Fantastodon and Schwans are getting their early level ups now, uh, but they're going through the trench, which is uh, Gao's other check. Uh, Edgeworth is going to be doing probably soon some levels now. Oh, he tried to do the camp. Or he's going to do camp for his levels. Oh, nice. I think the camp is a great first check for sure. He's fighting the Master Pug. I don't know why I want to fight him for other than maybe some experience, but... I was. It doesn't give experience. It only gives a greatest. That's it. So maybe he's he doesn't know that, or he wants yeah, that item. Yeah, I probably. mean, it sells for some good money. It's not really a a great item to use, but yeah, I might want to bail on this. <laughs> I definitely. Yeah, he might regret this here. And that's a Shiva at the end of the water trench. Oh, nice. So progression coming along. Oh, and dragon horns are in that shop. Oh, so, really? That is fantastic. Oh, Ooh, this so is going to be a. Fantastodon and swans are going to get some dragon horns. Oh, so fixed dice. And oh, cat, and hoods. cat hoods in the shop. Very good shops. This, this flag set is interesting. You can find amazing stuff in the shops, but it's also a really fast flag set. So, so how long do you shop? When is it you're spending? more time than you need in the shop face is a real hard for me at least it's a real hard decision like my last seat i didn't check shops very much at all because i felt like i had the power pretty quickly to go but it's really easy to to get into that over looting over checking shops to, to find all of the nice little items and weapons that could make your team just that much better yeah that's what slows me down uh, the most is trying to optimize and trying to get the best gear on my team possible and it just slows you down sometimes trying to remember oh wait where was that uh earring that i saw from like 20 minutes ago mm -hmm. um yeah sometimes you forget oh wow yeah, where was that economizer i couldn't afford yet uh, now i got yeah. now i got grand train let's go find that i didn't know i was gonna find that yeah yeah where's that sixty-five thousand gold <laughs> you know Oh, and Fantaston double blaster on Gogo. Oh, luckily the, the auto doom didn't get him. Laser Bean, I am an over looter. In real life, also. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's more acceptable in real life, to be honest. So. Well, me. Yeah. Be a bit of a looter. <laughs> Depends on how you go about it, I guess. Oh, and Terra is the reward at the Imperial. Yeah. Ooh. Terra is always a fantastic character to find in this flag set. Uh, she already has good stats, and her natural equipment is absolutely fantastic. So, she is definitely an all-around character. Yeah. Shiva with she can meteor equip and the life Minerva. Too. She can equip Ragnaroks. Ooh, Shiva has life too. A very good spell to learn. Sometimes that's your only healing, so gotta make do with it. Yeah, it's, we're back in that um, tournament thing again where we find no healing anywhere unless you want to 
You have to put a bunch of ice shields on yourself and cast ice three on yourself. I mean, sure, yeah. Hopefully, flame shields and Merton, so you got the damage and the healing all together. So, uh, Schwanz, I'm gonna say Schwanz is in the lead right now after doing the trench and getting the uh, dragon horn. Um, now he's gonna go for his Terra, which has put him on five characters. Yeah, honestly, though, it's super close. It's hard to call. Uh, Edgeworth, four and three. Fantastodon, four and three. The Schwanz, four and three. So they've all got same progression. They've got great teams. So it should be a pretty fast seed. <laughs> Saddle Kiaba, you don't need healing if you just kill everything first. <laughs> True, it's a little harder when you get up to, you know, Goddess or Kefka or Guardian, but the, the for bait, sure that's... The goal of winning over the battle is by killing my opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Not by living through it, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Hull Guard's being very liberal with their shuriken right now between Edgar and Gogo. Nearly everybody now is in the Imperial camp, so it's just such an early, good early check. You get mo a bunch of mo Oh, now we all do have all four, right? Or Edgeworth's mm -hmm. just finishing up with it. Did not put Terra on the team. Interesting. I didn't see what she had, but... They do have a pretty solid team, it's looking like, so... Holgar put, is putting her on, it looks like, so that's good. Well, Holgar doesn't have Gao, so... Ah, that makes sense. But double earrings, so she must have something. Or at least intends to make her a magic user, for sure. Maybe Blitz? Yep, she has Blitz. Blitz on Terra is fantastic. Most Blitzes are actually magic power based, and she has a really high natural magic power, so... Uh, Pummel, I believe, is the only one that's high vigor. Um, yes, uh, because, or, uh, no, Suplex. Suplex is Ah, uh, Suplex vigor. would be too, yeah. Um, you usually don't see yeah. that unless there's a train, though. So. No, nah, usually it's Aura Beam and uh, Fire Dance, is, which are both magical base. And, of course, now we have Terra. Airblade, of course. Edge Airblade's a really good one. And, of course, with Terra, now Holgar and Edgeworth both looting the uh, treasure room. That's in the uh, security building next to the uh, next to the Esper Cave. We got Stunner, Diamond Shield, Red Cap. Yeah, red. Tons okay. of good stuff. Elixir, not bad. Uh, Echo oh Screen's my gosh. helpful. X Potion, not too bad. Sleeping Bag is helpful. And a Merit Award, okay. Oh, and this seed, a Merit Award, can be huge because, again, there's a real struggle sometimes of getting your characters to equip the items you need to complete that set, so. Well, yeah, if, uh, if um, Saban was not able to equip the fixed dice, Nadi would be able to because he already has a jump, so you don't need that second uh, relic item to make them a jumper, a quad jumper. You only need the dragon horn, so you could actually force equip the uh, fixed dice to that, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in my last seed, we had, I had two fixed dice, or, uh, Right, two Valiant Knives at the end of the game. Valiant Knives, probably the best weapon in, in Worlds Collide. Especially if you have a Genji Glove with two of them or, and or an Offering. So if I had had a Merit Award like they found, I would have been able to use the Offering Valiant Knife combination, which is incredibly powerful, especially for dealing with Kefka. So I'm guessing uh, Fantastodon's gonna follow the rest of our runners and uh, probably go loot the cave after they get the uh, check in the tent in the back here. Pretty much this is a given check, especially this early. Maybe not late, but even late, if you skip the chests, it's a pretty quick check. And in this game, or this seed, there is free progression. We do have a flag to uh, take out the, the checks that are really quick, easy, uh, progression so that they never give characters or espers, but that is not on in this one. Ooh, and with 1.0, uh, Radio Guy PDX, who said he's joined in and hasn't played a game since then, uh, this has been turned to free progression. The sealed, cave, sealed gate has. It now counts. And the Zen Thief does not, so you can get a match site still from the Zen Thief, even with no free progression on. Uh, in the quad uh, treasure room in the uh, cave here, we have a flame shield. 
always elemental shields always a fantastic item to find i think in the game they were meant to be like mid-tier shields but they are definitely top tier the elemental protection is just too strong especially if you can get merton strats going so and of course fatestone's gonna make a liar out of us and go to chasing waterfalls instead <laughs> <laughs> you like to see some variants so always fun i mean they've all got what five characters already so, so Fatasodon's the variant, right, right. is what you're saying? So it's nice to see someone making some other choices, so... Fantastodon doing that for us right now is much appreciated, I'd say. It's on the way, too, right? So... Drew yeah, doesn't think you should go I chase waterfalls, mean. but I think that's wrong. So. Yeah, as long as you listen to the rivers and lakes like you used to. Um, so we'll see what this check is going to be here, jumping off the cliff and getting some water before going into the lava we have ultros number I kind of fit. oh but it's chupon ultros yeah <laughs> now that song is in my head yeah you're welcome <laughs> stick to the leap river that you're used to nice hefe oh shoot not gonna be one of those pun streams sorry fun fact there are three rivers in the world of balance there are zero rivers in the world of ruin interesting look at the map you don't believe yeah, me. Yeah, no, I, I believe you. I've <laughs> never looked at I've never thought about it before, so. They're all dried up in the world of ruin, so. Yeah, so Chupon, a real unfortunate boss fight to find at any time of the game. It gives zero experience. He just sneezes you away. You go through the fight for absolutely nothing, so. Well, no, not to nothing. You could get an Esper. That's true. I mean, you get the reward. You get a character here. Course. You just don't get any gold or experience or any of that. So, I would laugh hysterically if all this is is going to be red some cap? sort of bad item, like a red cap <laughs> Genji, or like Genji, Genji helmet shield. or something. Yeah, yeah, Genji helmet. Okay, this is going to be a Genji helmet. Watch this. <laughs> Absolutely. Genji Here helmet probably it. the more likely one to ice equip. Shield. Oh, okay, no, nice ice shield. shield. Okay, okay, okay. So, so she loves seeing Chupon and KT. I guess it's a lot better than seeing a Magi Master you're not prepared for, but I don't, I mean, you may be going to Kefka more prepared than I do, but I mean, I was, I was relying on a fight to learn Merton on my last boss before going into Kefka, so had it been Chupon, I wouldn't have learned that spell, which I needed, so I guess it's just situational, but for the most part, I need, I need every little bit of extra experience I can get and don't like seeing a boss that doesn't provide any. So Edgeworth is going under the water. He's going to get a Shiva by the end of this. We'll see if he goes to the uh, relic shop to get his uh, dragon horn for Sabin. Potestadon's going into the treasure room, about to go into the Esper Cave like everybody else has. Holgar is getting his Gao now. And the Schwans is. Uh, I'm not sure where he is right now. Doing some uh, just prepping work now. <laughs> just playing with the menu. True boss of the game of Final Fantasy. Six worlds collide. The Atlas armor yeah. probably no, that, that goes for five of them. They don't have a one. Yeah, the Atlas armor would go one. well with like a hero ring or something on on your thrower, just to get more damage out of that. Oh, or he's going with to sword tech or something. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm yeah, not. Stray not Cat is fantastic. Oh no, that marsh. My bad. Narsh World of Balance, gonna go do the Welk check most likely, see if he goes up to Kef get Narsh as well. It's quite the jaunt to get up there, but... Yeah, it's quite the jaunt. We have other things that we can do. I mean, he also has Terra, so he could do the Welk check as well. Um, but he won't get the item behind the Welk, because it hasn't been triggered by Mog, I believe, right? So... Uh, that's by Lock. Or by... Oh, the yeah. Tre the Yeah, it's a Lock when he gets the two options where you normally would get the Ragnarok. It's the second option that's behind that goes behind Welk. Oh, that's right. The wolf in the cave and Mog's uh, spot is the... Uh, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All the Narsh, by the way. So, Fantastodon is the first with a flame shield and an ice shield. And now we see why the Gao check is not as good if you do it a little bit later, because instead of fighting simple... Oh, hopefully you can get that dried meat off fast. Nope. <laughs> Saban was in the air when he when the dried meat reward showed up. That's that's frustrating. 
Welcome, Shadow Sid. You're not too late. We're still pretty early. First half hour out of the way. You just basically missed all the all the looting. So now everybody's building their endgame strategies and going through checks to get progression. So good time to join in. Welcome, welcome. I haven't found any interesting bosses yet. I mean, the sky base is about the hardest thing we've found, I think. So. Uh, yeah, there hasn't been really hard bosses yet. Um, but yeah, this is uh, we're about half over half an hour in. Uh, this is the Battle Royale pod. Uh, this is the Ultras pod. There's several other pods of this. They all have the same flags. Um, and, well, not the same flags, the same uh, objectives and stuff. It's just where all the placement of the bosses and everything are different from each of the pods. So this pod has the same checks and everything for this one, but between Ultros and say the Goddess one, they're going to be completely different seeds. So that that's nice where other people in other pods can watch the other races like that, so it's kind of fun. Uh, this is kind of a celebration of the 1.1, um, the objectives that we have now that we've added to the randomizer. And uh, yeah, so the last person, you don't, you don't have to be the first person to finish, but you don't want to be the last because this is an eliminator. So the last person with the worst time is out of the series. And this is our first actual pod race. So the first race, the the, the just the number of entrants didn't match a, a pod setting very well. So we had all we had 38 people race, and the bottom three were eliminated. But now this is the second round, but the first round of pods. So and I believe we keep the pods from week to week, right? They don't get reshuffled or anything, right? Yeah. So all the pod, people in the pods stay the same. So yeah, um, that's but they. But as you progress every uh, the first two weeks, the the uh, the setup's kind of easy. Weeks three and four it gets a little bit harder. The leveling goes up to two point five every per check and stuff. And your uh, items and stuff gets a little more narrow. The stats get a little more narrow. And as you go to the uh, quarterfinal, semifinal, final, each of those stages, the seeds are going to get harder and harder and harder as you progress down to the finals. So. Yes, Shadow said that goddess race was nuts. That was a very hard race. Oh my heavens. Where uh, 90 minutes just doesn't cut it anymore, apparently. So it wasn't too overpowerful or, or too strong of a seed, too easy. But it was it was a very close race, which is always fun. So it was too bad we couldn't get that one restreamed. That would have been a, a really fun restream to go back and watch. So we got GoGo -Go again um, here with being able to uh, mimic the um, Grand Train as we have Inferno Jr. on the uh, Schwanza screen. Ooh, and Holger dropping Gao. Honestly, looking at his commands, I might have dropped him too. I probably wouldn't have gone into his uh, abilities. and I think it's the right call to keep him on, but I don't know if I would have done so. I mean... I mean, all the all the abilities are strong. I mean, Go Go is Go Go. You know, you're not going to be able to boost his stats or anything with testers and stuff. But he is okay. able to use throw. He's able to use jump. He's able to use blitz. I mean, you know, so it's like all all the characters so far have been pretty good for uh, abilities wise. So yeah, it doesn't says dropping a grand train user. See, I don't know. I would have seen yeah, lore, see, I don't, and yeah. I don't know if I would have put him on to check his skills to see if he had the grand train. Because, I mean, if I had started with him and knew we had Grand Train, absolutely, I would keep him. But just seeing Gal his again? commands, I don't know if I'd put him on and check it and then make the decision to put him on or off. I'd probably like, I mean, the four people they had already were good. So it'd be really easy to just keep those four and then and keep going. So probably the wrong play, but that's, pro that's probably what I would do in the intent to go faster. Yeah, and uh, Schwanz did the same thing. He doesn't have Gal just either. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Yeah, That's but getting Grand, Grand Train, train and being able to illegal. copy it with GoGo -Go <laughs> is going to make for some really fast fights. So, <laughs> Grand Train is like ultimate, but legal. That is really funny. Yeah. Franklin joining the chat. Welcome, Franklin. Immediately slapping the fixed dice on Saban. Heck yeah. So Sabin, yeah. we found Fixed Ice really early. He's natural jump. Found Gao, which led us right to Nakia, which had a dragon horn. So I will be rather surprised if we don't have a few Fixed Ice jumpers. Uh, Edgeworth now going into the new set of checks here that we haven't seen yet. This is the uh, Edgar series. This will be which the Which he already uh, did one check. of them. 
Yeah, he did. So. The, he did the. Uh, he did do the throne, uh, which is a quick uh, uh, pre-check. But now he's doing the uh, Edgar series, which is going to be the finds and uh, the thunder shield. So we have all three elemental shields available. Very good find. And he does too. not have the fight. He doesn't have the ice shield. Because that is the uh, bottom Baron of the... Baron Falls. Uh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he finds an Esper or an item, Edgeworth. It's the first reward. So this check is a little bit of a risky check just because you have to go through this animation and walk for another good jaunt without a save before you find out what the boss is. So... If it's a goddess or magic master or something difficult, you could lose quite a bit of time uh, getting to it before you get to fight it. Uh, the Swans again is still doing Mount Colts. So we'll see what's at the end of this. Mount Colts is a pretty good, pretty fast check for uh, for saving. And the whole guard is under the sea. Still a very close race, really anybody's race. Uh, very close. Another set of fixed oh. dice. We have double fixed dice. Hmm. I'm I a mean, big fan I know of this is a race. Dice. I definitely use them. I, I mean, I know this is a race. Ginji Glove offering fixed dice. Double fixed dice, rather. Yeah, the animation takes forever, but you're guaranteeing yourself winning. It's a Chatter Nork at the end for Vines for Edgeworth. And a Tastadon is going to do, try to do Kefka at Narsh, it looks like. It is a ghost. Yeah, Kefka at Narsh, not everybody's favorite check. I really don't like doing it unless I also have Mog to go do it. But sometimes uh, you can be gated there and it's worth going and checking. Often people will pass it for too long and then not be able to do it, so... Well, we're definitely not gated there. We still have all of Terra's checks he can do. We oh, still we have, have lots of checks. <laughs> all of Edgar's checks we can do. We even have Saban doing the damn, uh, sorry, the uh, Phantom Train we can do also. I mean, we have a lot of other checks we can do. Climbing the hill in the, in the marsh. Which, if you talk about it, um, what's really interesting, too, with this one, with the Phantom Train, there is the ability, if you are to do three of... Uh, five checks that people don't necessarily like uh you can get an alumina for free so that's the uh phantom train phoenix cave opera house uh Leet river and i forget the other one um Fantastodon Tower, I think. dropped sabin from the team natural jump sabin and he had the dragonborn did he not uh... i mean he has gao did he not do gao's checks that would be that's Another he interesting I mean, play. So, unless he didn't look at the relic shop. Yeah, which is possible. We didn't have the power or uh, have the money. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, it's nice to have that many options. <laughs> to have so many good characters that you get have to drop a good one. Yeah, I mean, I mean like who, I said, who do you drop, right? Do you drop your Grand Train user? Do you drop your your natural jumper? Do you drop... Yeah, definitely a good user. seed. Do you drop your Grand Train? Do you drop your Thrower? Do you drop your Mimic person? They can do all those abilities twice over. I mean, it's like... Yep, very generous on the on the good character seed, so... Uh, by the way, Fire 2, Ice 2, and Bolt 3 are available to be learned, along with us all Flare and somebody. The other Magisite, Karen, for the uh, Edgeworth uh, Vines check there, with the Edgar's uh, first of two checks. Uh, we'll check the extra item in the back room, which is... Uh, Run Edge for me. <laughs> Doesn't, says he dropped Terra in a heartbeat this train. Yeah, not a bad call. I mean, Blitz is good, but... I mean, it's not a seed where you're going to get to level 42 and go get Bum Rush or anything, right? Yeah, that So is cool. it's pretty good, but does it compare to a natural jumper? Does it compare to Grand Train? I don't know. That's a good think, call. Yeah, I think the only way we would keep Terra, unless her magic power was ridiculous, um, you, would be to, if you had an experience egg, to get to that 42 levels. Or um, she's the only one that can equip the Minerva and Illumina yeah, that you found, or Ragnarok. Too. So she is really good at the, at the 
at the equipment, which can get overlooked. So, uh, one of the objectives, by the way, uh, to get an Illumina is that you have to do uh, three of five various checks. Um, unfortunately, we only have, I believe, one of those checks. Venom Train and Leet River. We have those two. Oh, two. So we have two of them. We don't have uh, we don't have Phoenix Cave. We don't have uh, Phoenix Tower. And I don't I forgot the fifth one. Opera House. Opera House. So that's uh, Celeste. So yep. we do have two of them. So we can't get Illumina yet unless we're, unless our sixth character, which is needed to get to Kafka's Tower, uh, is one is Celeste, Locke, or Strago. So of those, probably uh, Locke and Strago would be more uh, appealing because you can get a dragon with that check as well for some levels. Franklin, Bolt 2 is half the power of Bolt 3. The math checks out. Uh, Franklin is a resident mathematician stats person in our <laughs> yeah. community. Exactly. Those are, those are yeah. questions I could never answer. Yeah, far too technical for me. So I just play the game. That's all. Uh, we, I don't think we've seen, so interesting, I, when I'm racing this, which maybe this is a bad decision on my part, since dragons are scaled, I usually take an early dragon, uh, and usually fight two or three of them, maybe that's what's slowing me down, because no one here on this, uh, stream has fought a single one yet, we'll see if Edge, Edgeworth takes his first dragon fight in the ancient castle. Um, I definitely would at this point, I mean... You're getting to a point where your uh, levels are pretty equal to what you're fighting, so and that's going to give you a big boost. You can learn a lot of spells immediately, which you might have learned yet. Um, there's been a lot of good spells, or equipping a shield on a character and just getting the shield learned in that one fight, too. So, um... Looks like he skips the monster in the box, though, unless I missed that earlier. Nah, he probably skipped it. I will say Ancient Castle is one of the coolest areas in the game, I will say. It is very cool, I would agree for sure. It's very, it's very, it's not very much a throwback to like, uh, a third set of thick dice. Okay. <laughs> Three Let's sets of thick dice, are fine. you serious? A Valiant, Valiant knife. knife, okay. But he does not skip out on the dragon. Which is no, interesting. It should be a really easy dragon to fight, but he thinks he can get his levels just from regular checks. I mean, just so. getting one dragon would, is nice to do. Just get one dragon. I mean, you don't have. I mean, you only have to do the second one after you get the plus ten levels of them. I mean, just getting the experience, the magic power from G from it, it's very, it's very nice to do. And unfortunately, with the color mixing, we don't know which dragon that would be. Unfortunately. As we have an Ultros at the end of Mount Colts, I guess. Looks like Fantastodon's gonna chase Edgeworth through the uh, through the Edgar checks. He just landed his airship there. Edgar, Gao, and someone can use the Valiant Knife. Hmm. Valiant Knife again is based. The damage is based on either level or total hit points, I believe, but then the more hit points you've lost, the more damage it does. So, if you have that with an offering, and Kefka does fall in one, you can usually uh, swing back for 40,000 of the 65,000 hit points. So, yes, a very good very item. Strong. Damage <laughs> piercing. It can hurt Tritok. It can hurt uh, anyone. So, similar to fixed dice, but con consistent damage. So, one thing, very, very I have, mind. one thing I am seeing, though, with the seed so far is I have not seen Mute. I have not seen Siren. I have not seen Fenrir. I have not seen a Golem. That's um, true. Not a lot I of I have Kefka. not seen any spells or nice. abilities to get through Final Kefka so far. I, we have seen a lot of fixed dice. We've seen three fixed dice. We have one of each elemental shield. Um... We have Karen, who's helpful for negating some of the DOTs throughout the uh, fights. Um, but we have not seen any other tools for Final Kefka yet. So, other than a uh, fixed dice on a jumper and a VK knife, which I don't... Uh, did you find offering? 
no, but I mean, again, you could use the fix. That I don't know if he could, if he could do it. But a valiant knife jumper is another great strat because the valiant knife does get the 1.5 damage from jumping. So, but it doesn't look like he can equip that. So, looks like Edwards is going to go to uh, Kefcat and Arsh as well. Which is an Esper, it's the Phoenix Esper. Yeah, really now, I feel like our uh, most of our runners here, if not all of them, well, have he's probably doing the pretty check, good endgame strats. Yeah. Uh, it's just a rush now to find your characters and Espers and at least be in, what, mid-30s? So you can go to Kafka's Tower. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a second Thunder Shield. I'm sorry, there's a Thunder Shield in the right side uh door in, uh, in the castle. Oh, I missed that one. Yes, there's actually two Thunder Shields. But again, yeah, we have we have find... all the elemental spells, though, at least at level 2. Um, we have Grange. Find or... Merton on the Nesper, and they'll be golden. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> we have, we have, we have damage, that is for sure. Um, we just don't have the negation of calmness. We don't have the ease of getting through Kefka 2, you know? It's like, it's just little stuff like that that we're missing. <laughs> Mandatory Lee is always funny, doesn't it? Absolutely. Everybody's favorite check. Or is our buddy Jeremy? He would definitely be all over that, so. <laughs> yeah, as we wind down on check options, we'll start to see people do checks they uh, don't like as much as maybe some of the others, which is always a fun thing to see. Yep, people do have their preferences and what they want to um, do and check or comfortable with, or they memorize more than others. Um, so yeah, I mean, all the presenter games, right? And like, and yeah. So I was mentioning that earlier, Sid. Uh, we haven't seen very many scary bosses. Uh, we saw number one twenty-eight. I don't think we saw Inferno though, did we? No, so, we have I mean, the hardest boss we've seen so far, progression-wise in the game, has only <laughs> been has literally only been Ultros Four. <laughs> That's the hardest boss. That or presenter, seen, like progression right? through the game. Yeah, I or mean, Master Pug. I mean, the bosses have been, which is kind of scary. Not if you very think exciting. About it. Like, that means they're hiding in. That exactly. means they're hiding in late game. But Edgeworth is doing a new check for us right now. He is doing uh, Zozo. Uh, this is regular Zozo, this is Terra's Zozo, not uh, Mount Zozo, which is the uh, Cyan check. So yeah, we'll I don't see. believe I've ever rolled a check and not had Magi Master be a statue, so... But no, Dusk, in, in chat, I did not roll this seed, so we can't blame me for all of the difficult statues. We'll have to blame Seto Kiaba for that one. That's This is his fault. Uh, Holgar is doing the Phantom Train check, so... Oh, we do have uh, we do have a blitz user, so that means if we do have a phantom train, if they don't suplex oh. if they don't suplex them, that means they get a plus ten added to their time, plus ten minutes. But we don't know if this <laughs> boss will be the train, right? You would have to go. You can go back and fight the train. If oh, you need. there we go. We just jinx Edgeworth with Guardian now. Ah, uh, but he's got bolt three. It he's really got should. Bolt three. Yeah. Yeah. This is the if you're gonna find him, now's the time to find him, not as a statue. Yeah, we have Bolt 3, we have Bolt Shuriken, we have a Thunder Rod, we have Thunder Shield. We're... <laughs> Tentacles on statues can be devastating. Even if you have the damage, if you don't have a haste, uh, and they just grab you, and then you have to wait, or... Well, plus you have a shrunken party, too. You, you might go. only have, like, one or two people in your party, so if they grab you, you have nobody to fight with. Right, so you're just sitting and waiting for it. So, yeah, I've definitely seen Tentacles, which... You don't have to worry about them killing you because they only do 60 damage with their with their hold, their drain. Uh, it, you could lose a couple minutes to that fight. Uh, the Schwans is doing the dragon fight in the bottom of Ancient Castle, by the way. As Phantastodon are going to do their uh, Ancient Castle fight. Edgeworth does get another Esper and it's Scarlet. Still not one of the good ones. Yeah, not one of your Kefka. Oh, and he's using his last Warp Stone. Yeah, that's where you want to First Dragon Goldie. 
First dragon, 52 minutes in. Very interesting. I normally take a very early dragon. This is fun watching other people and see how they how they go about it to see what I can what I can fix with my own runs. So. And the only spell to note on Scarlet was stop for spicy chicken, and that's really about it. There is bio, but. Ooh, hyper risk. A, there we go. What a nice seed. They give you two thunder shields right before fighting gold dragon. So. Yeah, I know, right? Again, Seto Kiaba just making it easy for everybody. Yes, there had yes, there are three fixed dice in this uh, seed dust lamont. So many. Oh my goodness. With a dragon horn and a natural jumper. They might sell the other two just to pick up a Minerva or something they find in the shop. Yeah. It's worth running to Baron Falls. Great check, especially if you need a quick heal. And we have uh, the, just uh, gonna three find an ice shield. <laughs> He'll be disappointed to find that. Yep. Oh, Snow Muffler was the reward of the dragon. Mm -hmm. So Snow Muffler and Valiant Knight from the bottom of HK. Du the double uh, rough check there. I got my eye down on this Holgart. See if he can pull a pull a Hefe and get three Minerva off of the pugs. <laughs> Is that okay? Can I roll the Z for my round as well? Uh, if it goes like this, no, absolutely not. That That's one Minerva. Oh, he did get one. Good, good. Yep, he got Minerva. So we'll see if, uh, probably Terra will wear that. Most likely, yeah. But again, it's plus 33%, so other people could equip it. Minerva, interestingly enough, uh, definitely one of the best armors in the game. But the Merit Award does not help you wear that. The uh, gender-based items don't work that way. Well, we have a Tritoch who's uh, driving this train, uh, so we do have Fire 2s, we do have Fire Dance, so this shouldn't Fixed be dice too bad. also work just Fixed fine. Dice, so. yep. Valiant Knife, if you have it, I believe, if you're low in health. <laughs> Dusk Lamont, who's also in Seto's uh, pod, is totally fine with him rolling a seed yeah. like this one for them. <laughs> so. Seto, of course, somehow wrangling up, getting a buy in the first round. I'm calling shenanigans on that, live on the stream. <laughs> Oh. While Boo tried to keep it fair, so he put me and him in a very hard, very hard pod. So uh, just to cover everybody's uh, bases right now, we have Edgeworth, who's doing the uh, Mount Colt check. That is going to be uh, the Tritoch Esper. Uh, Phantom Train, which was Tritoch, is uh, Bozbahumu Esper. Uh, the Schwans is exiting the ancient castle right now. Fantastodon is in the castle right now, probably doing the ancient castle afterwards. Let's see where he did it. It just got Carbuncle, so. Okay. And Holgard is leaving the uh, Phantom Train. Moving on to. Looking Holgard doing a very good job of keeping up with these racers. I think he was expressing a little bit of concern before the race began, but I mean. All of almost everybody is at the same progression, so oh, and it's he's a doing very the, very uh... close race between all four of our racers, which is awesome. Yeah, and he's going to do the Zozo check, which will be an Esper. So Suppo <laughs> apparent. So I'm not good at keeping track. Let's look at the the tracker. What do we have available? The chat is saying there's only a few checks left that we haven't done. Let's just, see, we have uh, Kefka River and Mobliz. Let's see, a lot of people have a Kefka at Narsh. Um, that is an Esper, it's Phoenix. Um, Fantastone's the only one that's done that. Um, so... Phantom Train, the Holgart is the only one that's done that one. Um, so, which is also an Esper, it's Bahamut. Um, Holgart's Where is their next... See, so where can their next character be? Uh, Lata River. Yeah, we hey, think Kef, so. <laughs> it's gonna have to be Lata River. I mean, uh, I'm looking through this right now and I'm seeing Latin River or. Yeah, they're saying Lee River or Mobles, so. Mobles. Oh, uh, the uh, Pumbaa check. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. World of Ruin, whatever you want. Oh, that's the wrong. And it's an experience egg. Experience egg? You get what? it? This late in the seed? Probably not. 
But well, I'll be. He goes if, for it. Well, Terra oh, he Blitz. does not. No, he doesn't want it. But Terra Blitz, you can get the boom, bum rush, you know. I mean, but I mean, you don't really need it because you get everything. They else. don't really need it, but no. <clears throat> that was shit. Oh man, forty so, minutes ago, that would have been amazing. Not just yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so it is down to Leet River. Oh, so that's Edge that's wonderful. Uh, uh, no, the uh, experience egg. But Edgeworth's like, no, I'm gonna go do Man of Drain. So we'll see who's the okay. first uh, first runner to realize that they have to go to Leap River. Yeah, Leap River is not a not a quick check either. I mean, Leap River. I mean, Leap River was amazing in vanilla because if you had one of those automatic controllers, you could just put an automatic mode on A and just loop it around the river in a circle <laughs> yeah and you go to absolutely. school or whatever you had to do that day and you come back you gain like 20 level 20 30 levels of course your lock would only be level 12 <laughs> well the rest of your party was level 30 or 40 but hey <laughs> you know and it's it's possible that someone had routed lee early because they wanted to get that alumina but it looks like nobody did go for that so yeah, yeah. good job good job seto that makes for an awesome race, making everybody do every check they can before finally going and doing Elite River. Well, Edgeworth's at the end of Elite River, where you pop out at. <laughs> so, at Narsh. Yep, gonna do Kef get Narsh, because they'll do just about any check before going there. Uh, uh, Schwartz sure. made his way to the top of Zozo as well, from Castadons and Mount Colts. Edgeworth is doing Kefka at Narsh, because he doesn't know that it's an S for not a character. I wonder if he even does it once he sees it. I mean, he does need... Oh, I guess you would, right? Well, because he does need an Esper, so I mean... I mean, it might it might be dead. He doesn't know that. Well, he, he might scare it. him because it's not a character. Um, yeah, exactly. But that would mean that it is just Leet River. So that means if he does this, he does Leet, he's good to go. Yeah, so I bet he, he does do it. So I think he'd be the only one that knows other than maybe Holgard? Oh, Holgard he resets out. Knows? He doesn't want to walk back down if it's not a character. Nope. So I hope it's Umaro. Everybody, everybody, oh, place your bets. God. Who is our sixth and final character? They'll find at least. Oh shoot. Um, let's see. What? What have you? It's interesting because I'm hoping items... it's Mog, so that he has to go back up. Oh, Jesus. Has to go back up Narsh Mountain that he just Mog passed on. The, of all of them, yes, Mog would be the worst. That's that's my hope for sure. You're I'm one... all the way up, Narsh. Reset. Go find Mog and have to go back up. Well, uh, honestly, shoot. honestly, I think the most interesting one to get would probably be Strago, because Strago you'd have to do uh, Tower Fanatics, which would give the, the give you the Illumina. That's true. That would be a good. That one would to be find, the most really. interesting one to get. I think they're they're ready. I mean, they've got Does both three. They could do Fanatics, and that's uh, it's a decent check to be honest. So Edgeworth. Your item. All right, go ahead. No, sorry, Edgeworth is doing that, but he finds the ninjas. Um, that's not good. Oh yeah, of course, doesn't try it again. You could just do auction house, which is what you would do, because that's so much faster. So. And Fantastodon did reset out of the uh, Esper knowledge at the uh, train. So I believe he he is on his way. No, he's going to roll the ruin actually. Sure. So it must be another check he hasn't checked yet. <laughs> Probably the food bottle. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> everyone's Mobliss. going now and going to Mobliss. This has been a very linear seed. This is fantastic. I mean, we've done a little bit of different routing, but not really. So. No, everybody's going to meet at the river. <laughs> As we're gated at Leet River. And now we hit the one hour mark. Everybody's feeling that they need to get to Kefka's Tower and get to Kefka's Tower quick. Uh, the seed. To progress, you better be doing it in under 90 minutes. So, yeah, 90 minutes has been the uh, checkpoint of the uh, ending final Kafka. Going into Kafka has been under a minute, so we're now past. I'm uh, sorry, under an hour. Under so an we're hour. Now past the hour mark. So, uh, sir, people our knees are knocking a little bit right now. Absolutely, my heart will be racing. Find out that he's gonna get his. Uh, uh, okay, Fantastodon is there, going to Lee River as well. Edgeworth slightly in the lead, it looks like. It's Ice 3 on Bahamut, so it is worth keeping for Tiger. 
Yep, he's going to take and he's going to do the train. So it is worth taking. Uh, Fantastodon passed on that, though. So. This is a really interesting uh, decision that Erasers are going to have to make for their ninth, their ninth Esper. I am interested to see. I mean, Auction House is the fastest, but it does increase final Kefka levels by 10, right? Uh, how much time will... It, he may not be... Oh, I guess that doesn't give... It just makes him more does more damage, um, have more hit points. But it's still having to play more carefully could add time to your race. Is it worth it? Uh, yeah, I'm very interested to see what people do. And Edgeworth finds the boss. It is Ifrit. Oh, it should be easy. Uh, you definitely, well, they have ice two, and I have ice three if they got the bomb of us for. Tony Bahamut would work as well. Run trick? I don't think they'll need it. I think they'll do plenty of damage to not need the run trick. So who is it? Oh. Okay, so chat, well, who is it gonna be? I know a lot of you are screaming Yeti and Mog. Yeah, I saw a lot of Yetis. Some, I saw some people say Shadow. I am definitely rooting uh, Shadow for Mog. for Floating Island, ugh. That'd yeah, he's rough. got some other good checks though. He can probably just do his free check and go. And the winner is Cyan. Cyan. So the dream. We're going to the dream. Doesn't even now. check what he's got. He doesn't care. Oh, I doubt he'll do dream. Maybe the leader check. He flies right past leader. Okay, and he goes to. Okay, so he's going back to the Esper that he knows he can get. A good call. Schwan's finding his pug, seeing if he, he can find any Minervas. So that would make that would put Edgeworth on the hill, actually, after this, so... I didn't see any Minervas for Schwantz. I just thought Bahamut. But still, did we see a Golem? Did we see a Fenrir? Did we see a Siren? I don't think we saw any of the Kefka Espers. Oh, we do see an X zone, so we do have our automatic kill um, spell available. So that'll help on Cave 1 and Cave 2. We have Ice yeah, doing... Tigers, so not too bad. Doing leader would be a risky check. I mean, Edgeworth knows a Magicite's here. He knows it's not a Magicite he needs, but the leader might just be a, be a character, but you do get a peek it. So if it's a character, you could save and reset. But again, if it's not a character, it could be a red cap. So yeah, I mean, I mean, Ed, you know where the Esper is. You might as well just go to the check where you know where there's an Esper. Yes, it's going to take a little longer than it is a, little a risk longer, yeah. check on something else. But it's really not that hard. Of a, it's really not that hard. You just hold left. I mean, and you just run through everything. It's not like you're weaving in and out of of Zozo. You know, and jump between buildings. You're just holding left to run up a train. I mean, yeah, but the I've been stuck behind two of those NPC ghosts as they got married and walked down the aisle very slowly. <laughs> I mean, that added at least a minute or two to one of my checks. Uh, and then there's the forced fight and the switches and all the rooms. Uh, yeah, it's not a fast check. <laughs> it's a guaranteed Esper. So I'm not saying it's the wrong call by any means. It's the, it's the known call. It's the known check. But it's the gnome call. Known, known. Gnome. <laughs> no, it was a, it was a dragon actually. Bahamut. Yeah, I mean there are harder checks out there as well. I'm saying. I mean, it, it's a yeah, for one. sure. Yeah, this one. I also think that the Phantom Train gets a little bit more hate than it deserves. I think it's a, it's not. It is a slower check, but it's not too terribly slow, so... Oh, Edge is going to try to get his Minerva. Pugs. Yeah. Well, that'll be good for Terra. Yeah, or anyone else who can equip it. Uh, I had see what Cyan to has one earlier. Though. Let's see what Cyan has some ability here on uh, Fantastodon here a bit. As the Swans is looking like he's going to go to Kefka and Narsh. He's not going to see a character up there, unfortunately, so he's probably going to reset. Oh, Olgar buying five more Phoenix Downs. He has 20. He is definitely prepared for Kefka's power on Phoenix Downs. Yeah. Hopefully that'll hopefully that'll be enough for him. 
once. Going up that Narsh Mountain for not a character. Nothing. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> so Swans knows now that he's gonna have to do the river. Uh, X magic on Cyan? Okay, yeah, that's the that's worst. Crazy. I hate getting X magic. Mor well, Morph's okay. But, uh, what's the other one? Uh, gold uh, shock. Range. Getting shock oh, on shock. him, you're like, oh, come on. It's gonna hit everybody for like 400 damage. With his 20, yeah, Cyan, 25 the worst magic, magic power. power of anybody on the in Final Fantasy 6 or 3, depending on which generation you played in. Oh, and Holgar doing the ancient castle. This is where I would go for sure if I was turning for characters, because all three of his checks have the potential to be a character. Yeah, so you would, you one. would, you would think that would be the place to go. That you've got really good odds. But and you do, you do have really good odds. However, all you're gonna find are dead checks, and I believe one magicite. Yeah, the, the throne was the actual Esper. The rest were dead. No, there's two Espers. So Fantastodon, interesting, going to Opera House, getting a dragon to maybe bring up his levels. I think, is he still missing a Magicite? Is he not quite ready? No, he's still missing that. Well, we don't, uh... No, Edgeworth's no, he said he was ready. Same thing. No, it did Edgeworth's trigger. Doing he, a quick it dragon. Did tri uh, when he picked up Cyan, it says uh, Final Kefka unlocked. So he does okay. have nine. So that's actually, uh, that should be nine espers on Fantastic. He did say that. But this is his second dragon. So this dragon actually has plus 10 levels on it. Versus Edgeworth, who's doing his dragon, is going to be uh, level scaled right now. Doesn't right. have the bonus tech. Just a little ice dragon, though. Should be really easy. He get that weather one. <laughs> Especially with his fire threes there and his go. fire schemes. Yeah, makes real short work of that dragon. Not a, not a problem. Seto Kiaba says in a race he found all three Avengers checks were dead. <laughs> that is a lot of time to spend to get, to get nothing. I've also done a, a dream where they were all dead, which is just, or was it two of the three? Uh, in any case, it was a lot of time for not much progression. Very disappointing. Uh, the dream is supposed to be the Valiant Knife on Edgar, by the way. Oh, nice. But no just, offering. Just uh, solo, no solo. offering, no Genji glove. Just one of them. Uh, or Lance is the uh, dragon gain on that one. Which, uh, Saban, well, he has fixed dice, so it doesn't really matter. So Or Lance for Edward, uh, Edgar. Did anyone buy the Zen Thief match site? Did we see? I don't believe anybody did. I mm -hmm. typically avoid it. Uh, one of them did check it. I don't know if they grabbed it. Yeah, I said not enough money. I remember seeing that. And according to the tracker that we have, nobody. Yeah, nobody. Nobody put um, it down. But so. you don't want it anyways because it's plus ten levels to Kefka. So. Right. It could. In my be. opinion, anything, anything, anytime you add levels to Final Kefka, just don't do it. <laughs> in my opinion, uh, Fantastodon into Kefka one ten fifty. And I believe uh, Edgeworth is going to follow him up just a few seconds behind, so... Yep. 111. He's into, he's into Kefka's tower, so... Of course, the Schwantz is, we know, for sure, getting his sixth character. We'll see if he takes a dragon for levels as well, or if he's if he's good once he gets Cyan and rushes to Kefka's tower. At an hour 11, you, you better be hoping you get there soon. Yeah. One, uh, when was Edgeworth? 111? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think 111, 111, somewhere around there. All right. I don't know exactly where you, so where you count it. Part about. <laughs> we passed on Edgeworth as he entered the final stage of the randomizer. Yeah, that's definitely close enough that it could be, it could come down to whoever does the faster menuing, so. At an hour and 11 minutes, would you try to go for a shortcut now that you have Cyan's checks? Which the dream can reveal uh, two or three Espers. Oh, I definitely would not. <laughs> At this stage, if I have what I need to go, I would need to find three characters or Magicite. I mean, you're not like saying an extra one or an extra two. You're saying find all three without finding the wrong thing or finding dead checks. 
Uh, all your skippings, a little bit of Kefka Tower and one boss. Yeah, but I would definitely you get all of them in one shot, though. It's... Your odds are very bad. <laughs> I'm just saying! I'm just you saying! You could, yes, yes, you could. But again, are you saving time? Is it faster to go through the dream and skip? Or is it faster to just go through Kefka's Tower? My, my bet is Kefka Tower. Uh, Hulgart with their first dragon, their swans finishing up to get his cyan. They'll be on the hill to get into Kefka's Tower here in a bit. As we test it on, do some level last minute um, itemizations to uh, try to get the uh, Hula Charms on here, a three person party. Hula Charm, probably the most powerful item in Randomizer, <laughs> I would say. It's the most important item in the Randomizer. Yeah, absolutely. Have, uh, have you played many games without it? I think one of oh, the uh, Living games, Seeds I did, uh, I believe it was a Jex Rock, took that off. It made for a slow seat. You just you definitely prioritize checks that don't require walking around. So Imagine now having the Mobile Charm or the Spring Shoes on. That would just oh, take forever. Sometimes in a Chaos Seed, that flag gets turned off. The auto sprint, oh. it feels so bad. Just meandering across. Oh my gosh, it's so so slow. And Narapa for the second live stream on a row is at the Inferno check. Such a pushover. Quick easy boss. Uh, just got to be careful not to uh, cast any spells that will reflect back on you as she has auto reflect. But really, really easy boss. Go go using the wing edge, getting the proc kill. Awesome on Fantastic on screen. That should. Oh, but Edgeworth with a quad nine grand train now right behind him. These two are really neck and neck. See, I would have paired Qua uh, go go with Gao to mimic the grand train and have them do the extra boss fights. Um, that probably would have, would have been my play on that. Like pairing go go with the strongest character mimic what they're doing and just which is grand trains probably the probably most powerful ability in this um that any of the characters have and just go that way so the rapa the rapa we have a lot of musical music musical <laughs> in uh in final fantasy 6 absolutely yeah, the hyda knights the rapa mm -hmm. the rapa yep the 80s rock man yeah Oh, Holgar checking oh, out the Colosseum here. Yeah, I just noticed that too. Um, Very interesting. Another yeah, Valiant, Valiant Knight. Valiant Knights for and Snow Bumblers. That's worth. Uh, shoot. Super Bowls for Gravity Rods. Excalibur available. More Super Bowls. Ice Rods. Flame Shields. Flame Shields. If you had Merchant, uh, that'd be a dream. Yeah, uh, you have to trade I think he was hoping it, for. I think he was opening for an offering. <clears throat> offering hey, Lunar yeah. Chimera, was, he's done with his... Uh, Living Seed, I hope that went well for you, buddy. I saw oh, you boy. having a uh, Umaro carry you for a long time. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hey, Yetis matter, okay? Oh, his Yeti was rocking it. I mean, I played that seed too, no no spoilers, but the Yeti definitely, he carried me all the way through Kefka, so. Uh, the Swans, I'm gonna say he went into Kefka at a 115.50. Super close, within five minutes. So, and Holgart just still not going to that Leet River, so. No, and he's actually down in Esper possibly too, so. I'll check it out, Lunar Chimera, definitely after this race. Uh, as so. we're doing the Guardian check as well as Fantastodon, they are side by side racing. Ooh, Shrapnel. Okay, but they've got plenty of armor, so not much damage off that Shrapnel. Ooh! That missile for 1700 damage each, they're almost dead. Oh, Shrapnel right behind it? Oh, Shrapnel after it is wow. brutal. Oh, but Edgar stays in there. But another launch missile? Oh, wow. Okay, he's still alive. Man. And that this brutal. is what we've been afraid of because, yeah, the, the bosses we've found have all been super easy. Air Force is never done. a boss you want to find as a statue. He can delta hits, turn you into stone, high power abilities. Three enemies attacking at the same time. 
And Hassanon made quick work of it, though, with his grand train, so... Well, you got lucky. You didn't get triple, like, Ultima there, practically, <laughs> what Ed, like Edgeworth true. did there, so... Uh, and you missile better get missile into point. wave cannon? I mean, what is that? Well, all three of them get... All three pieces get to get turns, so... If you have, like, a grand train, AoE, you can take out the small guys so that they're not hitting you. But Edgeworth is, uh, he's just throwing we weapons at it, hoping to kill it quick. Okay, he doesn't have any bolt edges. I mean, bolt edges would be a nice thing. And here is a French Vanilla Inferno on from Fantastic One. Yeah, Inferno, another really tough Ep Epca Tower boss. So, Polgar getting that EXP egg at... Hour 17, hour 18, good for you. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it might get In him a little bit more. What boss fight is this? Where's Holgar right now? I didn't, he's got the, uh, he's got the fish. Yeah, that's what he, he's getting the experience take. He's at Mobless. Oh, he's Mobless. Okay, so. I didn't know, I didn't know it was a fish, my bad. Yeah, well, yeah, no one else fought it, so. Right, so Contestadon is currently doing Inferno, slitting, taking a slight lead over Edgeworth. Edgeworth finally surviving that fight against the uh, against the Air Force. <laughs> but <laughs> Gao is a beast with a quad nine bolt right there. As Contestadon takes down his Inferno. Yeah, it looks like. Edgeworth will be right behind him finishing his. I bet this bolt three finishes it. Yep, should. Pow, uh, yep, Mark. Edge. Mark is in the is the fifth in this pod. I don't, yep. I'm not familiar with who he is, but yep. he's the one not he's featured. He's to the community, so but he's not being featured unfortunately tonight. We can only fit four people on the screen, so. Let's see who he puts that experience on. On Edgar, it looks like. At least he's debating it. Yeah, there he goes. Well, Edgar is the one that can use the Valiant Knife, so getting those extra levels for extra HP would be uh, beneficial, so... Absolutely. That's definitely a good call. Uh, Hogart now trying to decide where to go next. Um... Oh, let's hope he knows. He's got to do... Going to Narsh, it looks oh, like. Oh, try touch. He's going to do try touch. Just check. He can't get a character there though. So, oh, but he does still need a magicite. Okay, no, he realizing he needs to be in balance. He might be going for Kep get Narsh. No, uh, you did Kep get Narsh. Did he? Uh, oh, maybe he goes to leap. I'm sorry. He's no, looking he's around. <laughs> Okay, no, oh, uh, no, back to Narsh. Yeah, back to Narsh. I think he's gonna try Kep get Narsh. Maybe he hasn't done that yet. And that's a Magimaster Master Jr. from Fantastodon and a Dadaluma. Yeah, very uninteresting. I was really hoping for better bosses there, uh, Zeto Kiaba. I definitely blame you. Yep, so. Number no 24 and Dadaluma, use, both. No Magimaster. Oh, yeah, Goddess. Did we even see a single statue? statue? No goddess, no doom, no poltergeist. Yeah, so Air Force has actually been the toughest boss so far. I mean, there was a guardian, though. We did have a guardian. Um, yeah, no atmos either. Yeah, no, no ammo or ammo weapon. Yeah. Very easy bosses to see. Interesting. Let's see if Holgart uh, does this check or not. Like it. Yeah, taking a reset. It's the right call. Yeah, <laughs> I thought I set the Magi Master, Magi Master on the right path flag. You would, Seto, since it's your favorite thing to have Magi Master as a statue. I've definitely heard no. how much you love that. No, Seto's favorite so. thing to do is put Magi Master at the end of Floating Island when you have Shadow. <laughs> that is the worst. That is what. No, my least favorite uh. place to find him is Foon Baba. Doing the Foon Baba check blows away two of your characters, probably your non-elemental damage users, and then it's Magi Master with two characters. Oh, I hate that so much. Oh my goodness. 
So Edgeworth and Flips test on flipping screens now doing the other others uh, checks as Edgeworth now takes the lead on uh, back the lead actually. They keep passing each other here. And no stooges either. Stooges make a great statue. Yeah, no stooges. With their elemental uh scaling. They are oh and Hogarth gonna go to zone eater. He really will not do that at lead uh, river if he can avoid it. No zone seek either. Didn't see a zone seek. Jamie's we didn't even, we didn't even see a uh, Senor Behemoth. Oh yeah, he's not. He's usually not too terribly difficult, but Excuse at the end me? he can be if he's using Goner and Ultima. Which he did had against me Ultima in my me. run. Did he? <laughs> nice. He used Goner on me. I'm like, what is this? I well, Goner is not that. That's not that powerful of a spell. I got a Goner on my last seed too. I forget who used it, but it did like 500 damage to each of my guys. It, it's not that is bad. At the final Kefka at around 123 even. Oh, I don't know if I had a gun. Oh, did he make it? But he got squished. He got squished. He got Hogarth squished did. He was in front of his chest. Oh my god. In front of that. the chest. I didn't think he was fast oh. enough. Oh shoot. Did you save? Boss wise, this speed was quite generous. Yeah, it really, really was. I hope he saved. I didn't see. He, he, I hate that when you make it to the chest and it squishes you anyway. That totally feels like you've been robbed. Oh. Agreed. Shadow State, it still on, feels a little trolly. Behind. So 45 seconds behind for the fastest it on. Uh, Edgeworth got into Kefka's tower 15 seconds after Fantastodon did. But they've really leapfrogged each feet, other. So 30 seconds. Yep. So Edgeworth they've gone three. back and forth as they fight bosses. Which I think it's really come from the menuing, because Fantastodon's doing a lot more menuing and optimization of his espers. So I think that's where the 30 seconds pretty much came from there. Which I am at fault for all the time. I menu too much, so I know that's where <laughs> I lose my time. For sure. That is that's definitely the hardest thing is to not menu too much. So I can't remember all of the different magicite and what spells are on them and who's learned what and what needs to be learned, so I've definitely done too much menuing. Uh, there is an X zone available, but uh, nobody's cast it yet for, uh, for long arm here. Oh, here we go. Fantastic. Oh, Edgeworth does not have X zone, so that's going to be interesting with the uh, machine as well later on. Oh, oh, yeah, so having to take the time to, to kill that arm will add a bit of time to this fight. So, But with well, his damage, it doesn't seem to be too bad. Well, Fantastodon's not having much luck with his Exxon, he's missed both castings of it. <laughs> That's me, usually it takes about six or seven Exxons. We'll call that hash luck right there for you. Right, so okay, there he gets it off. Yeah. Oh, unfortunately, Gogo -Go mimicked it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. Holgart leaving. Did he get his ninth match site there? I believe he did. Edgeworth moving on to stage two. Edgeworth slightly in the lead still. Still a very, very close, close race. Yep. And as we saw in the last race, <laughs> Anything can happen in Kepka's tower. So maybe I was just about to send Pyro because I was just going to say, based on our last seed, anything could happen. So maybe I'll try not to hex anybody uh, for Kepka's <laughs> battle. Not pull a, a green monkey and say like, oh, he's got a sub 90. He's still good. What could go wrong in Kepka's tower? Yeah, I right do before a he takes curse. his ultima and dies. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I summoned so the, Holgar... the Guardian to Edge's stream. That's, yeah, okay, I'll take that. So Holgar is finally doing uh, Lata River here. And fighting his Ice Shield too there, apparently. There was an Ice Shield in the uh, Returner's Cave. <laughs> apparently you have to take over from here on out. 
uh, a lot of people in chat are telling me that I cannot commentators curse anybody. I need to shut up, so this is all on you, oh, Saber Wolf. Oh, great. I, I'm on all <laughs> by myself. You know, if I'm alone, I'm going to be singing some random tunes that's going to get stuck in your head the rest of the night. <laughs> hey. I, I, I uh, just can't help it. on still right. on tier one here. Yeah, it hasn't been super fast for him, so... I don't. I think he has less damage than uh, Edgeworth has. Tunes over hexes. Tunes is better than hexes. Alrighty then. Yeah, especially since. Get ready to be demonetized by the music game. here. <laughs> <laughs> but don't count Fantastic on out. Something could happen to Edgeworth. You never know. Right, ah, I did it. Let's see if it works. 745. So Fantastic on is now two minutes behind Edgeworth now. As we come out of Behemoth coming out. Woo! Getting the Hex Malum is traumatizing. Well, so Schwantz had a deal with me. The last two races that I was in, that he commentated, I won both of them. So oh. he's supposed to win this one, since I'm commentating for him, so it can go back and forth. So I have to Hex Fantastic on an Edgeworth, because, I mean, here he is in Kepka's tower. He just needs a little something to go wrong, so that the Schwantz can, uh, can come make the comeback and win. Uh, the Swans is right in there. Uh, each uh, Edgeworth and Fantastodon took about 12 minutes to get to the Kefka at the end. Uh, the Swans did it in about uh, 13 minutes. So he's right in there. Actually, about 12 and a half. So he did it in about the same amount of time as Edgeworth and Fantastodon did. They're probably close to the same damage as everybody else. We'll see. Any Doom or X Zone? Okay, he does have X Zone, so. Yep. And, uh, yeah, not a couple characters, so. We'll see if he has a little bit better luck here. Only the best impartial comms. I'm always impartial when I commentate. Absolutely. Simply the best. <laughs> uh, that looks like <laughs> Edgeworth's Kapow on Tier 2 Kefka. Yep, moving on yep. to Tier 3. Tested on summoning Kirin. That's a that's a magic side I like to summon all the time. Get that re regeneration going. Yeah, the regeneration when you cast at the beginning of uh, Tier One Kafka, it will go through all the way through the rest of Kafka. And getting about 80 to 100 HP per tick, and getting the tick throughout the entire fight. I mean, that that can be a couple thousand HP there. So. <laughs> The green monkey. Life three on ten hits. Twenty hits? Oh, is it that? I've never seen that before. Is that how that works? That is terrible. Yeah, there'd be double death, so yeah, I think that wouldn't happen. And it would take a significant amount of time to get through all those ten hits, so. Whew. Okay, so now we have the issue of girl. We have a lot of elemental damage. Of course, Edgar with throw. Uh, Gao has the grand train. That's going to be our non-elemental damage to uh, the girl, so she's down now for Edgeworth. Is this one of those pesky muteless BRCs? Not only is it muteless, there's no Siren, obviously muteless, and yeah. not the spell. Yeah. No Fenrir, no Golem. I don't even know if we have Phantom. I'm not a fan of Phantom strats to get through no. tier 3 anyway, it never Phantom seems to work. No. As soon as I cast Phantom, that's when the AoE, AoE spell comes out every time. So, also just just to, just to add to that, no Raiden or Odin. Just to add to that. So here comes the calmness out. It's gonna get Gao on the double calmness and Seaman. Oh, that is super rough for oh, Edward. The hex is horrible. on. The hex worked. Oh no! This is my fault again. Oh no! Uh, and this this is why we like Fenrir and Gollum so much because uh, things like uh, so how's Ed Edgar and Terra's damage they've got good damage I mean he still has this he's got remember we w we had plenty of good characters as his characters with hundreds of hit points show up hundreds I tell you well well problem is if Gogo had lore as one of his abilities he can't have that anymore I believe Right? Oh, I don't know. That's interesting. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> he has throw and item and magic. So he has throw. So he has Edgar's ability. We have Super Balls coming out. Not much damage from Saiyan, though. That's a very low health go go, too. So. Very low health. This is going what to be mean? interesting. He's got hundreds of hit points. He should be fine. Voltaire is dropping the nines, so uh, that's good there. Uh, on and still he's got on throw on Edgar. I think you, yeah, he's got this. Oh, fine. the Schwanz has come up with uh, Fantastodon. He's on tier two. Oh, maybe he does have some pretty good damage. See if he can make that. See if he can catch up. <laughs> Super falls on finding Kefka. Feels bad, man. Yeah, it does. Uh, but bolt three, that feels good. Oh, he's taking off his aura lance to throw at him. Tricking. Oh no! Oh, he's got the he's got the uh. He's yeah, got the he did take it off. Knife. He has one hit point too, so he'll throw that aura lance and then maybe start punching him. Yep, oh, well, good, he's and he's charging forward, Goner, so, so he didn't see... get a bad counter. Yep, uh, Fantastic on finishes tier 2. 13312. Got this easy through the sets. And then yep. it won't count as a hex, because he got through it, and it's not my fault. Just keeping things interesting. <laughs> but Hogar did go do... It's like, is that... Doma Castle, and That's he finds Doma a Doom Gaze, Doom Gaze, one of the hardest yeah. bosses we've found. Wow, Wild Wind misses everything. Okay, Goner goes off, so there's everybody but Terra dead, hopefully. Yeah, so Terra, Terra has Shell on her. Yeah, and Terra will be free. fine. Yeah, Terra will be fine. We'd we'll like to see uh, Edgar start wet. Oh, Echo Screen. Oh, he was she was muted. For Trying. So let's see if a Havoc Wing comes out or not. It's yeah. Avenger, so. He's playing it safe. That's, that's definitely the right call here. Yeah, we need to get Edgar up with that Valiant Knife. It's definitely going to help for damage. Does Fantastodon not have any healing? I don't see a lot coming out. In my last seed, I went and bought seven X Oh, there's the Havoc Wing on Terra! Hefka. She's down! As Swans goes to tier three and Kefka, he just passed a uh, contested on here as they You, Kefka you mentioned that, I think. I think that was you this time. <laughs> <laughs> that mentioned uh, we hope there's no uh no havoc wing. I don't I don't believe that was me. That was No, that was me. I said I was holding up for Havoc Wing, because <laughs> this was the Havoc Wing portion of the uh, fight here. I think oh, this might man. do it. Hopefully that's a Krakow. Is it? No, it's, it's not. It's not yet. Shuriken? Not yet. Here comes Shuriken. That's a lot of damage. No, it's still not down yet. They're oh, going no! Did he have life three? Did he have life three on her? Oh, no, no, he takes the reset. No! So, uh... Oh, man. Well, hmm. by the way, Swans has caught up with Pentastodon after going <laughs> five minutes after... Edgeworth and Fantastodon going into the Kefka fight. Let's see what calmness happens to him. Gal blocks it. Only one thing of calmness. Fantastodon still has his four core going into last Kefka here. Oh, that's true. Revenger did come out. Even if he had had life three, it would have been gone. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. What an interesting bunch of races we've had today, folks. <laughs> As a calmness comes out and takes out Gogo and Edgar, so she still has Terry, still has Saban, still has the damage. Oh my goodness. Woo! No shortage of action here tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. Schwantz double calmness too. Uh, he's done a great job catching up though, that's for sure. Well, double calmness, he still has his damage. Uh, Gal comes back in. Now. Did, did Fantastodon take use. one, or did he, did he get a, get through without any of the calmness? Uh, he got one calmness against him and was blocked by Gal. Okay, beautiful. Uh, here comes out Fallen One. There is no Mega Mega uh, Elixirs that we've seen. Only X yeah, potions very, and regular Elixirs. So very little healing with Seed. Oh yeah, man, that's been the and one. And this is why I found I think X potions for like six thousand gold in the in one of my shops before going to Kefka, and I was like, oh my gosh, last, 
I actually took a forfeit on my last seed for that, for not having any healing. So I bought like seven of them, and I used, I think, all of them. Uh, Edgar B. Oh, my dude. You need to get to KT! Oh, going for the skip. I don't, yeah, I don't think it's worth it. So. Yeah, he's ready. going for the skip, I guess. He's got uh, seven characters, uh, and he's going to be a very to bold the, uh, move. Check. He's still looking for chess, too. But... Oh, and this race between oh, Pendastron and on to Edgar is super interesting. I don't know. Cyan and Gow are down. Paris casting her bolt three. She ain't concerned. They've been doing uh, oh. some massive damage with those jumps. But not with fixed dice. He has a he has a uh, lance. He has probably he's got a lance, lance, so it's consistent. And do eight thousand a jump. But he takes it off and puts on fixed dice. Okay, so Fatastodon is about to get gondered here. Uh, Just Terra fight. and Kefka, uh, Terra and uh, and Edgar are probably going to go down from this. Yep. Yep. Life well, three at least on Terra. Three. Okay, life three on Terra. Honor on saving the Terra on the Schwanz's team. Yep. He's about half their life. Using life two as his heal. <laughs> that 624 roll on that dice. I know, why did he take off the Aura Lance and go for the fixed dice? Open for a quick quad nines? Didn't really put pay out in his favor. No. And Mark is 7-11 with four dragons doing auction house. Lore, scroll down the lore. Go down further. You got Grand Train. Go down further, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Terra goes down again. Echo screen the Terra, but she's already down, so that didn't work. I think Fatastodon's gonna get this because he's got he's got Gal. He's gotta be close. He's been in this fight for a really long time. Well, he's he's had his oh. own crew up there, so. Oh, GG, Fantastodon. I tried, I tried Schwant, I tried Hexen, but it didn't work. <laughs> Lunar Camera, Schwant wins, Hash can't commentate his pretty matches anymore. Oh, uh, shoot. Yeah, this is GG for Fantastodon, which is good, that means I can keep com commentating, so. 139.11 for his time. We will pull him in for an interview in a second when he's ready. All right, we're working that. We're going to have Swans here. Still on top of the hill, still fighting Kefka here, throwing down the bolt threes, ice threes, anything you can uh, chuck at him. Oh, Saban. See, okay, Saban, you got to jump, bro. You got to jump with your fixed ice. <laughs> here comes Goner again. That's going to take out Gao, 2,000 each on Terra and Saban. Don't know if they have the shields, but still, as Holgar gets into Kefka's tower... At uh, about 140.05. Oh, Schwantz, it's super close. He's yep. got two characters up, low hit points. He has an ice shield there. He can, he can chuck that. Oh, too. use an ice three to heal himself. Ice Check to see to what he's got, and then he does it. Uh. Oh, but the cold doesn't bother her. It missed. I was trying Good to job, Holgar, in the Kefka's Tower. Again. Uh, Fatastodon is in the waiting room. We'll pull him in oh, as okay. soon as yeah. we get out of this uh, fight here. As, uh, Schwanz is holding on by the fingernails here. Ice uh, three, not quite Terra's enough. Again. Oh, and Terra's taking a Yeah, fix that. Just jump. Just jump. He's got to be super close. I know, right? Break the shield. Break the shield. Just break the shield. Jump. Just, that's all you got to do, bro. Oh man, how low can he be? Oh, he's gonna he's gonna get hit by another havoc wing here. Oh no, he's charging up. Okay, use it now now's, you gotta oh, use life it now. Life two Terra. Okay. Life two Terra. Okay, we're gonna get her oh, up, shoot. but she's gonna get knocked down again here soon. Uh, she can live through one goner. It does about thirteen hundred damage to her. Yep. So here comes the goner out from. Hey, uh, fantastic on GG. Um. You're muted, by the way. Yeah. There we go. Saban just went airborne. And a bolt three from Terra. Terra with another bolt three. We gotta be close here. 
Meteor out of Keska. You don't see that very often. He has to be really low then. That means he could have... Oh, but Terra goes this down gotta as kill him. the... Meteor it means he's ready. Again. That could have been an Ultima. There it is. Oh, GG. There it goes. Woo. 142.10 for uh, the Schwans there. Uh, for test on right. there, bud. I am. Uh, close race, huh? Oh, my that was goodness. Super <laughs> close race. Oh, my heavens. Watching you and Edgeworth neck and neck through all of Kefka's tower was quite intense. Yeah, I I guess I didn't realize until, like, the final battle, or two minutes before, that I was going to need a bunch of MP-restoring items, which I did not have. So, <laughs> final battle was, was like a math problem for me. Like, how much MP can I get by with on each tier? Yeah, because right, the Grand exactly. is not cheap. <laughs> no, indeed. So, the... The most interesting part of the race for us was uh, being gated behind Leet River. Did you do every possible check before going there? I last location Leet River. I uh, think and every I was one even, of like, our race going did. through my head, making sure I had done everything. Just if there was any possibility that I didn't have to do it. But yeah, it seems like the whole seed was gated to, to the river. Everything was behind Cyan. Yeah, so you entered the entered Kepka Tower within 15 seconds. I believe you did it first. You were the first into Kepka's Tower. But then by the time they got to Kepka, Edgeworth had about a two-minute lead on you. So he went through the phases of Kepka just slightly faster, and then you were both fighting Tier 4 at the same time. Uh, he had a, a double calmness to two of his characters right before going in. Or I believe your Gao blocked the only calmness you got. Gal blocked it, and, and I had life three on, I think, most of the party. Okay, so you were prepared for calmness. Yeah, there was very little Kepka preparation going on this seat, let's say. There was no one found Siren, Golem, Fenrir, any of those that you're typically looking for. Yeah, it, it's probably just RNG, but I feel like, at least for me, this has happened a few times with the, the Battle Royale flag set like fighting a full power tier two because you don't have mute just like crossing your fingers in tier three with no calmness protection um I, I, I mean maybe the other players had had some fun stuff i didn't have anything super op like i had a valiant knife and no offering i had grand train on gao that, that's about as good as it got we yeah we and it's about it. the same all around uh a lot of people use sabin as a either fixed dice or rlan's jumper which was good mm. Yeah, I started thinking that halfway through, that maybe I should have... Because I think there was a dragon horn somewhere, and there were obviously lances around. I, I got sort of fixated on the throw command. So I figured two throw years is better than one, and kick save into the curb. Yeah, but I'm sure he was super powerful by the end. Yeah, yeah, both of those are really hard calls. I mean, you were... It was very plentiful with good characters with good commands. Sorry, oh, yeah, it was a fun one. Yeah, did you feel like you were in the lead when you went to Kepka's Tower? I mean, it was kind of, for a BR flag set, it was kind of late to be getting into Kepka's Tower. It was kind of going back and forth. Part of it was like, you know, I've seen all these, like, minute 20, minute 22 times in these other races. Oh my god, I'm so behind. But also, like, I, I was pretty confident that no one was going to hit up Leet River too early. Yeah, that was, that was the last check for everybody. I mean, you did hit Kefka's Tower at 110.50. That was 15 seconds ahead of Edgeworth. Uh, Edgeworth started Kefka uh, two minutes before you did. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, he did, and progressively, you caught up, you caught up. You were only 10 seconds behind him at Kefka 4. Unfortunately, Edgeworth did get double, uh, double uh, calmness, lost both of his high damage dealers, and then had to just reset. So. Oof. Back in there now, though, and got a better calmness. He didn't lose but, anybody this time. So. But the interesting thing was, is the Swans, who finished second, he's waiting in their waiting room right now. Uh, he he got into Kepka five minutes after you did, 
but was uh, doing final the, doing tier four uh, Kepka at the same time you were. Wow. Uh, yeah. So he caught up. He caught that five minutes up very quickly. Yeah. Well, I mean, GG to him. I, I realized that again. Like, yeah, right before the final battle, this was not was not going to be a fast fight for me. Uh, I was really going to have to ration my my MP usage, uh, which is why some of the tiers were probably. A little slower for me, but uh, oh, GG to Edgeworth. Yep. Um, yeah, it, it was a fun scene. I'm glad to see everyone's pretty close. Cool. I think we'll pull in the the Schwanz, but again, GG Fantastivan. Good job on the first place win. It was an awesome race. Super fun to watch. Super close. So yeah, thanks for doing that. Absolutely, and thank you guys for putting the stream together. GG. It was very fun. Thank you. Awesome. Um, just to remind everybody that the race is actually still going. Um, we still got Holgar, and we still got was it Mark, I believe. Mark. Mark, so whoever finishes last is out. So we still have That's a race on our hands. So Holger is still fighting for position right now to uh, continue in the tournament. Supposedly it's very close is what they're saying. So those who can find uh, Mark's stream. So. Yep. Uh, uh, let's pull in the Schwantz. GG, Schwantz. Yo, hello. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, great. You... Great come from behind there. You were third place coming in. You finished in second. Oh wow! All right, it's always good to uh, to creep up on the, the lead there. I, um, I I I definitely lost some time at the beginning in Zone Eater, right? Getting thrown off the bridge a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saw that. It was a it's an interesting choice going to Zone Eater first. I mean, definitely not a bad one. There's a lot of chests there and no boss, so it's a good quick progression. Uh, I liked that play. But watching you just sit and wait for the Leprechaun for a minute and then getting knocked over was also pretty fantastic. Yep, yep, I'm glad, I'm glad we gave the stream what they really wanted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, big question for you though, is you dropped Gal out of the party. Uh, yes. We had Grand Train. Yes, well, I thought that um, I could just swip, uh, swap out Gal for Gogo, because Gogo could put lore in their list of commands and can mimic uh, anything that Edgar threw. And could mim mimic any magic without getting my magic points taken away. So, for me, having Gogo there with, you know, all of the things to supplement Gogo's stats, like enhancers and some other items, um, I thought I could make Gogo pretty powerful in spite of the fact that we can't put espers on them to gain more, uh, more stats. So, that was what I was thinking. I originally had Gao in, and then when I saw at the wealth check the fixed dice and that uh, Sabin could do fixed dice with dragon horn and jump, I said, okay, well, change of plans. <laughs> That's one well, of the start... great things about randomizers, right? Is you have to you have to be ready to change your plan when something gets thrown your way. <laughs> uh, if you look at our screens right now, it looks like our uh, restreamer, Seto, is trying to get uh, Mark up here right now. Mark looks like he's at tier uh, one Kefka, as Holgar is about to enter Kefka in a little bit. He's still got a statue two to go, so we still have that close race on our hands. All right, awesome. there he is. Good job, Seto. That's fantastic pulling Mark up there like that. Yeah, um, first so, close race between them. So let's talk about fixed dice. There was a couple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there definitely was. Uh, I didn't really need the fixed dice, uh, other than you know just on my uh, on my saving user, you know. Uh, Terra had like 80 magic power at the end of my seed, <laughs> and Woo. Edgar was just throwing things, and then Gogo -Go was doing Gogo -Go things. Yeah, so I liked my party construction. The problem was that I didn't have Thomas protection, didn't have any healing spells. So <laughs> for healing, it was hit my own characters with the elemental shields they had on, and use which uh, missed. Star I noticed. Yeah, yeah, and Starlet, which I accidentally cast Ice Two on Kafka. Uh, when he was down below 10,000 HP, I was like, oh no, here's my <laughs> ultimate counter, and I just lost. Um, yeah, that was that was the brutal part. It was the, the final fight. The final two tiers were such a slog, especially losing two of my four characters, right? If it would have been three, if I would have gone with three of my four instead of two of my four, I think I would have had a much, much better time, but it was just, it was a slog. I had to, there was one turn where I had to bring up uh, my Terra in order to survive Goner because I don't think Saban would have survived it even at his HP level because Goner will split your damage 
uh, if you have multiple party members up. Ooh. I had to get I had to get two people up in order to survive Goner. I couldn't really heal except for throwing elemental spells at myself, right? And then I just I yellowed it. Um, I could have thrown the shields, but I was also afraid that I would also be throwing away the only way I could heal. Um, I probably should have just went for it, but I was playing so cautious in that final fight, and obviously it, it showed with the second place time. But I'm glad I at least leapfrogged over somebody at the end, so I'll, I'll go back and watch this race and hopefully Yeah, it was, yep. it was crazy close between both Fantastodon. As you go back, you'll see between Fantastodon and Edgeworth, but uh, Edgeworth taking a very unfortunate death at Kefka. Uh, Ooh, he was yeah. he was in line to be first place, but uh, the double calmness to take out two of his characters and then uh, Goner, I think, finished off his his characters at the top as he was as he was was getting Kefka really close. So yeah, I feel that pain. Uh, also, the pain of a Leet River required seed. Uh, <laughs> it is my <laughs> yeah. least fav least favorite check, um, but I guess, what I love know. Leet River. No, do do not like. You get tons of gold, tons of experience. Well, it's sure. Great. Sure. Saving sure. some of the time for uh, watching the seed back, you, you got into Kefka's Tower five minutes behind Fantastone, who was first. Edward's only 15 seconds behind him. Yeah. And you caught up from five minutes back to only being uh, 30 seconds behind going into K4. Yeah, I know. It's all Go-Go's fault, right? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep. So I... Uh... Uh, I'm I'm glad that I was able to enjoy myself in spite of you know being a Leap River required seed. I see that Mark did get the skip at some point. I was, but man, I I did my oh, checks. Yeah. I must have done my checks really really slow because everybody else looks like they had more stuff done than me. Uh, so I got to fix that for next round. Uh, <laughs> and um, you had the same as Fantastic on an Edgeworth. It looks like Holgar and Mark just had a few more. Yeah, so. fair enough. All right. Well, again, thank I think you. it was excellently played. Good choices all around. Everybody all right. came in really close, which means everybody was playing roughly the same. So, which is always fun. It's good yeah. for a restream. Yeah, definitely. Oh. And speaking of restream, thank you to uh, Seto for getting uh, runner number five in right away. That's big ups for him on the restream. Thank you, Ceiling Cat, for tracking, and thank you guys for doing commentary. Can't have the, the race without the volunteers, so I always appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for playing. All right. I'm going to watch the rest of this now. Thanks. Catch you later. Play you later. Awesome. Uh, we do yeah, have we've Edgeworth. got here. Right, we're going to have Edgeworth in the restream uh, channel here. So, But uh, GG to him to hang in there to uh, keep it going. Again, the, the last person to finish is out. So way to hang in there for them to get in there and get Kefka the second time round. As basically the last person here that we see, P. Mark and Holgar, will be out of this tournament. So, as Mark is in tier two, I think he's been here for a little bit, and uh, Holgar just jumping into tier one. We'll see if he can, if he's got the damage to catch up. Yeah, in the chat. It's rather rare. Usually you're looking for more espers, not characters at the end. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, but, I mean, it just depends on the seed. My last seed, I found characters really, really easily. I actually went for the skip as I got nine characters and just took nine and nine and took the skip and went to Kefka's Tower. So I feel like that happens probably more often on the, on the BR flag set. Uh, we do have Edgeworth now on the channel. How you doing, Edge? GG, way to hang in there on that second go round with Kefka. Uh, just uh, let me check this before I start answering questions. How much swearing am I allowed to do on this channel? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, we do try to keep it family friendly. Yeah, try to get um, a little family friendly. <laughs> all right, I'll come. Whatever you. anybody tells you, there's no such thing as a commentator's curse. And I specifically did oh, not curse you. Uh, well, I mean, uh -huh. I, I, I hang <laughs> this, I hang this more on Adma allowing this X the second thirty three percent to happen more than anything else. <laughs> yeah, so, so talk to us. How'd that how'd that go for you? 
I mean, it was two characters that were basically spent by the end of the uh, the run, as opposed to the two that were ready to go and take care of everything. So, of course, the second time around, I block calmness. So yeah, whatever. not even one got through. <laughs> But I mean, like, the the last half act, too, um, who was it? Um, Air Force doing launcher and immediate shrapnel. And oh, we were out. nervous. Yeah, that was insane. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I lost two X-Potions on that, which I could have really used at the end to close the close that fight out. So uh, that, that fight ended up costing me 20 minutes. So that's, that's not great. <laughs> yeah, you were you, yeah, were you... right neck and neck with uh, Phantasodon. You got into Kefka's Tower 15 seconds after they did, and uh, you were 10 seconds ahead at K3, and yeah. I mean, you guys were neck and neck the whole way. Yeah, I think you pulled a little bit ahead by Tier 4. I yep. I do believe, yeah, you did. so you were in, in position to be. Yeah, but anyway, it still went well. You jumped back in. All you have to do in these pods is not be last, and you weren't last, so, I mean, nothing to be sad about. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it could be worse, right? I could be in that other pod where everyone finished under 130. That was my pod earlier today. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> it was obviously a different seed. We weren't gated to, uh, to Elite River, which obviously added a lot of time to everybody. I, I just wish one person had done Elite River. Because, I mean, heck, they might have finished 10, 15 oh, yeah. minutes before. Yeah. I mean, that one person that does Leet River would have finished, like, 10 minutes behind everyone else in every other seed. So. Exactly, right? So, so Nobody yeah. did Leet River until the very last check. Until the they checked every characters. single possible other check, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I even bounced out of, uh, like, I didn't even bother going for the Esper and train just because, I, what yeah. if it's Shadow? I can just get that free one easier. Uh, yeah, wasn't meant yeah to we saw be. you go back for the Esper afterwards, though. Yeah, I guess the the thing, another frustrating thing is, anyone find offerings? Because that sure would help. Nope. Nobody. <laughs> nope. There and was, Tassadon uh, actually asked the same thing in chat as soon as the race was over. Did anybody find offering? No. No. It everybody was... was looking for him. Every monster in the box was checked, but no. There was yeah. two or three Valiant Knives, there was three fixed dice, but no offerings. Uh, none of the offering. Uh, I was actually kicking around, like, should I just go into Velcave and, and hit that chest just for the heck of it? I've checked every other one. But... <laughs> no, I figured killing a dragon would be more beneficial. I didn't get anything out of that either. No, it's, uh, you, you, you did find the experience egg, though. It was very late, though. <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. think you went for it. <laughs> I mean, that was another consideration, too. Anytime I see Blitz, that's always an egg magnet, but it wasn't uh, wasn't going to happen today. Oh, it was way too late in the seed, I agree. Yeah, the skills were pretty good. You had, we had Throw, Jump, Lore, Blitz, and X-Magic. Lore had Grand Train uh, already learned. So uh, it was a pretty good uh, amount of skills to choose from, really. Yeah, I mean... Mark, Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, that's all. I was just saying, watching Mark here, he's super close, just keeping all his characters about 100 hit points, casting Life 3 when they die. <laughs> oh, yep. Life 3 would have been nice. <laughs> uh, he did do the skip, though. He has 12 espers and 4 dragons, according to our uh, tracker, Ceiling Cat, and uh, shout out to both oh. of them for getting Mark into this, as we see a goner about to happen on the screen with very low health. This is not going to kill them all, but they have Life 3, so save and swing it as giant knife for almost quad nines. So they all go down, see who comes back up. Gao's up. Edgar, uh, Ter only Terror and Gao are up. As Wait, what were you saying? comes in behind that. Oh. Edgeworth, before I rudely interrupted you. Oh, no, go ahead. I mean, this is, this is important. Y'all go ahead. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he's got three of his characters up. I think he's got this. Oh, did I do it again? I'm not supposed to say things like that. <laughs> Stop jinxing people. <laughs> uh, Holgart just getting to Kefka Tier 3, so he is nipping at Mark's heels as he's hanging on by thread as okay, Kefka the Connor, goes into his so... second charge-up Connor now. Yeah, he should be able to finish this here. He's done quite a bit of damage, so... Now, Edge, I, we can't... Um, we couldn't... 
Uh, no, was that the test on her edge? I can't remember. Who was switching between um, the lance and the fixed dice? I can't remember which it was. That was Fantastodon. We should have asked him. Yeah, I'm not oh, sure yeah, why he did that. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, Edgeworth. So, Leet River gated. Uh, that sucks. Um, GG to, to Mark here. Yeah, yeah also you. had a rough Kefka. Anything else stand out for you in the seed? Uh, no offerings. Not even Genji Glove. I mean, I would have taken that, too. <laughs> That's true. The double fixed dice, and you can aim it. It's not the leg. Yeah, absolutely. I would have taken one in, in that seed. My seed earlier, all I wanted to do is be able to equip those Valiant Knights. I had several, but <laughs> nobody could equip one. So. Alright, well, anyway, thanks for the, for the fun race. That was definitely entertaining for all of us, and we appreciate that, so... See if uh, we want if Mark wants to jump in here. Oh hey, Valiant knives for Revivifies in the Colosseum. Yeah, we saw who went yeah, Holgar. I think went in there super late, and he found all kinds of snow mufflers and Valiant knives and things. So yeah, Valiant knives, fire shields for earrings. I think it was uh, there was like Excaliburs. I think in there for uh, Revivifies. Oh, it was Schwantz. That's right. It wasn't Fantastic on that switched out. It says our lands equals oh, repeatable damage, yeah, fixed dice equals one. higher potential and lower potential. Yeah, at Kepka, he switched out his our lands for fixed dice, threw the fixed dice for a whole 624 damage. It was pretty fantastic. <laughs> Schwantz loves him some fixed dice. I love me some fixed dice. I almost want some fixed dice. I'll take fixed dice any day. See. Oh, here's Mark. We'll see if we can get him in. But anyway, anything else you yeah. wanted to say, Edgeworth, before we let you go? Uh, no. Just glad to be alive after that. Thanks, uh, thanks to Boo for arranging this, and thanks to you two for doing the commentary, and I'm assuming Kaiba for doing the restream and the tracking. I always appreciate it. Uh, Ceiling Cat's doing the tracking, but yeah. Oh, oh Ceiling Cat. Oh, Ceiling Cat's always helpful, too. Yeah, yep. thank y'all. Welcome, Mark. GG. Hi, thanks. Yeah, way to go there, buddy. I know we, I know we didn't see like three quarters Not of your stream much. there <laughs> on the on the on the quad stream, but we did catch the end of it. We did catch a Kepka fight at the end. And first of all, you did the shortcut. Yep, I ended up just trying to go for that. Now, was that um, your strategy all along to go for the? To go no, for the skip, or? I wasn't planning initially, but I was having trouble finding my last character, so it took me a long time. So I figured I'd better try to go for the skip to make up a little time. Yes, that was so. That's the story of the race for sure, as everybody did every check possible before doing Leet River. Yeah, I was hoping someone, maybe a one, at least one racer would go to Leet River and find that character faster and get those Scion checks. I mean, it could have been huge this race, but sadly nobody did. Everybody knows better. Well, and if you didn't catch the beginning of my stream, instantly I saw Gogo, -Go, so I was gonna just gonna do, be smarmy and go do the Gogo -Go check, instantly go to the World of Ruin, start flying, hit Magi Master, die. <laughs> oh, Magi Master? That's where Magi Master was? was? Yes, Magi Master uh, was. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That is fantastic. No, sadly, we did oh, miss that. That would have been amazing. Oh, shoot. I don't think I've ever actually ran into him naturally until this time. <laughs> I've definitely really had that happen. Yeah, wow. Actually, in my race earlier today, I did. Luckily, it wasn't Magi Master. It was, it was Guardian, which was still intense. But, oh, no. I am sorry to hear that, Mark. Had you saved or oh, did you have to nope. restart? Had no, you had to completely restart. restart over again? Yep. I always oh save in goodness. World of Ruin before jumping in that airship because it's burned me so many times. Well, I've never uh, been hit I, by it, so I just didn't even think of it. I neither have. I haven't either, unless I don't save. <laughs> yeah, you don't think to save. I mean, you don't. You don't think to do that when you're in World of Ruin. I mean, it's like, ah, oh, I'm just gonna fly your. Yeah, just going happen. for shops or whatever <laughs> else for sure. Yeah. Oh, Holgar got at a at a 
Illumina. And Illumina, somehow. yeah, I saw that. He's been swinging that with Terra. I don't know. I have no idea where that came from. Maybe he found it in the Colosseum as well. Well, he does so. have Strago, so maybe he went up to the next tower and got the uh, Illumina. So what else? Uh, what else stood out to you in this race, Mark? I had a rough start with that, and then the go go check. Um, I stuck with Gao, who I think was a mistake, but ultimately kind of worked out. He just wasn't super strong. Yeah, Gao was an interesting one. I'm 37 magic power is pretty good. That's about Celeste, natural Celeste magic power. And Grand Train is, I mean, it's a mini Ultima, right? It's AoE, tons of damage. So he was just rough I, to start with. Yeah, exactly. Without yeah, like an expensive. economizer to be able to cast that multiple times, it can be, it can be a little hard. So, but you should only need to be able to cast it, like especially if you have Go Go. I mean, cast it one time and you probably got most hey. bosses killed. Hey, Holgart made it to the end, everybody. Woo. Yeah, he did finish. Jeez. Only five minutes behind uh, Mark here, so very close race. Yeah, I'll be interested to go rewatch some of the other peoples and see what their strats were. Well, sure. everybody's strat was the same. Do every single check except for Leechy River. I mean, that was everybody's, <laughs> like, you know, deal. I felt bad getting to that point. It's like, well, I, this is the last check. I'm sure everybody else did this first. No, every, every, no <laughs> nobody did it everybody first. Did everybody it did it yep. last. So. Awesome. Well, thanks, Mark. Anything else you want to say before we uh, see if we can grab Holgart? No, just thanks to everybody for rehosting and streaming and all the other racers. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to catch you there at the end. Hey, one more question before you go, Mark. Uh, how long have you been playing? Uh, I started doing Seeds of the Week a month and a half ago. Wow. <laughs> that's what I was wondering, because I hadn't seen your name too often. So, yeah, that's absolutely fantastic, being six weeks in, doing the competing this Getting, yeah. a, getting well, almost yeah. a sub two. Final Fantasy Very VI well was done. always my favorite when I saw the randomizer go, for it. I just decided to dive into it. And Seed uh, of the Week awesome. is a real easy way to do it. Exactly. That's what I think, too. I Seed love the, the Seed of the Week for That's that. Was Great wondering. way to, to compare yourself against other racers, so... Okay, but that's all I had for you. So again, thanks. We'll see if uh, Holgart wants Welcome to Welcome to the in. community. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, guys. Have a good one. Thanks, Mark. Um, we also, now that everybody's done, uh, we might, uh, raid somebody if, uh, Seto wants to do that. Nope, we got Holgard actually first. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hey, Holgard, hey, how Holgard. are you? GG. Hello, thanks. So, uh, what stood out for you in that race, Holgard? Yeah, still Orange Jesus hates me <laughs> with the, the checks. That damn river to unlock the character I needed. Well, yeah, you that can blame to everybody. Everybody okay. had that. Nobody <laughs> you can blame everybody... Seto Kiaba for rolling the seed and, and yes. gating it behind Leet River. Yeah. It's still about the time I was doing in practice. So I'm still happy with the time I got, even though I could have done better, of course. Yeah, it only was five minutes between you and Mark, so very close seed. So yeah. Good job there. Yeah, I'm just getting back into the game too, so I'm I'm happy. I was doing nearly three hours two weeks ago. So Oh so, that's some uh, good progression for sure. Yeah, three yeah. Two. That's awesome. Getting back there quick. That's very good. Now when you picked up Terry, you decided to uh drop Gal there. Uh what was the strategy with that? Uh well, I maybe should have checked the lore at least. I didn't even bother. But yeah, when I when I got the the wipe of, I, I was hesitating between the two checks. So when I reset, I just decided to go there instead, and then I went back for Gao after. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I was saying the same thing on the stream. Had I been in your shoes, I probably probably would have kept Terra. Terra with Blitz is super powerful, and she can equip great items, so I always love seeing Terra. Yeah. And having Gao with Runic and Lore is super sketchy, because, I mean, he had good stats, yes, but what if the Lores weren't good, right? What if he didn't have 
Quasar, Grand Train, or Arrow, at least, right? He yeah. could be. I didn't want. I wouldn't take the time to check out his lores and then decide. I probably would have just grabbed Terra, same as you. So. So what? Uh, what did I miss with his lures? I did it. He had Grand Train. Yeah, Grand Train. Ah, oh, damn it. Mini, <laughs> but, mini Ultima. So. <laughs> but but it's really expensive early on in the game, which with Runic it kind of mitigated a little bit, you know. But still. But still, there's enough. There's enough spots in the in the seed to heal and get your magic points back, or if you're just using the one sleeping bag on him before fights, uh, yeah. it usually only yeah. takes a a grand train or two to to beat a boss. So I think keeping Gao was maybe the the better play. But the, but how much time do you want to spend every seed to check that information, right? So yeah, I definitely don't fault you for making that choice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would have taken him even though he had Grand Train because of the party I had. I was quite happy with it, especially when I got the Dragon Horn with the dice. There were way too many dices and the, the, the Valiant Knives. No offering. I probably missed the offerings somewhere. No, there was no offering. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everybody's asked that, though. Every streamer checked every monster in the box they could and tried and tried to find that offering, but there no, wasn't one to be had dice. this season. No, three fixed dice, two Valiant Knives, no offerings. No offerings, yep. Yeah, so at some point I stopped searching for for this, especially after the the monsters in the box I got. It was like, meh, not worth it anymore. I'm just going to focus a, on the chicks. As one of the other racers said, it was probably in the Valdeck Cave in World of Ruin. That's probably where it was. Um, that was no reason to go there because you don't have shadow, but still, I mean, yeah, that or Daryl's tomb, and no oh, sets yeah, Daryl's tomb been another one, but you don't have sets to get in there, so nope. yeah, or floating yeah. continent. Did anyone check floating continent? Because that's monster in the box too, so you can't do floating continent without without shadow too, so exactly. Yeah. So who knows where it was, and we didn't see it at all in the Colosseum, so it <laughs> yeah, two shadow could have been there, but most of that's un unviewable, so. Anyway, thanks, Holgart, GG. Uh, we'll catch you in the next tournament, man. Thanks yes. for playing. Thanks for having me. Yep. Good job, buddy. All right. So that is going to wrap it up for us. Uh, thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, thanks, uh, everybody in the chat, keeping it alive and keeping it exciting. Uh, that was a great race. Thanks to all of our runners. Follow our runners. Uh, thanks to Seto Kiaba who in the background doing all of the hard work doing the streaming popping up mark there at the end was fantastic uh i'm hash malum saber wolf commentating with me and yeah, yeah. ceiling cat doing the tracking so thanks everybody that was a fantastic race i hope you all had as good a time as i had uh that was awesome that was very awesome and uh are we going to uh throw this to a uh no a we're just gonna or? end it we didn't find just anybody to okay. raid so yeah absolutely so no worries all right, guys. Yeah. Well, take care, and we'll be awesome. back another next week, probably with another pot race. So, uh, we'll possibly Saturday, then. right? I mean, oh yeah, Saturday too. Yeah, we have another one Saturday. The Saturday community race. I probably won't be a part of that, but um, I'll try to at least join the chat. So, thanks everybody again. Uh, have a good night. <laughs>